That's just well, the one. kind of down to one with that bowl. Good out, good out coming the end. So, first completed end, South Australia. Take a one the lead. So Cameron takes the matter a fair bit back. As we start the second end away from the clubhouse. Game this afternoon, Lee, which of course you'll be in charge of with our bowls that way president Doug Kelly in the hot seat. Um, interesting game too. Ex Look ex at local the Jacks boy. just stayed on the Jack. Ex uh, ex local boy Tristan Smallicum, Northern Territory will play uh, again another one champion champion singles winner in Lee Schreiner. Yeah. So uh, Northern Territory New South Wales this afternoon's game. Yep. So we're just about just shy of this to ditch here. So this will test them out early. Pretty good fist of it first up, Lee. It's tell you what, it's a great start. It's a fine shot. Oh, that's a great start there from Karen. Very happy with that. So JD's going to go the other side. Going to leave that hand alone. Yeah, we're a fair way from the from the side of the green, so I think the uh, the peg would be a good four metres in from the ditch. So still plenty of room. Not really a ditch rink. Oh, well, done well here. We've got morning tea to serve to us again. There we go. Okay, outstanding. <laughs> All right, well, uh, if we're muffled for the next 10 minutes, <laughs> Lee, because we, we know why. We'll be spinning uh, bits of cake everywhere. Yeah. Well, I hope it doesn't take off. So, again, uh, looks like a good fine shot here by SA Lead. Oh, she's missed, a, no, missed no. a fun bowl. Well, that's a great start. That's a super bowl. Two crackers. Well, I'll be very happy with that. Yeah, and it'd be tough to get this this backhand as uh, JD's playing now. Uh, there's a howling breeze across the green as we mentioned earlier on, ditch to ditch. A lot can go wrong, but oh, she's in the area here, Lee. I think she's played this pretty well. We'll just slide past the jack. And a little touch. That's a good shot. Yeah, very good second bar. Gave it every chance. After the first one, just dropping a bit short, making sure she was behind. Sheridan right. also going to go on the backhand here. Just me trying to beat that last back bolt. For the Victorians. Not quite sure if this will stay up. Looks like the yeah, breeze is going to go in, I think. Yep. Good line. Breeze helping. Smith urged it to run on. Once you get second shot with that, so good start. This one will hang on. Yeah, I think there's a better way on this one too. It should stay on this time though. It does. It does. Just give us happy. It's so not a big correction needed by him right here. Just second shot with the first. It's been a pretty handy line again. Yeah, yeah, breeze. She's got the run. Breeze will help. I think she's just not quite arriving. Still, something for Samantha to use. Yep, a couple of balls in the head. Left hand, again in, in the area. Yeah, she's not a mile away, she's got a front bowl here. Just she needs to, this oh, this will work well. Yep. That's worked about as good as it could work there. Yeah, just locked in behind too, so. Two to SA. Yep, South Australia, they've come out swinging. I haven't been to South Australia yet, Ken. I've been to uh, most spots, I haven't been to South Australia yet. It's on the to do list. I can see you up at the Barossa, yeah. wandering around <laughs> up there, Lee, and enjoying the 
fruits of the beautiful South Australian country. So some of the other games that are up today, Queensland v the ACT, we've got uh, the Northern Territory and Tasmania, uh, and for the locals, WA against, uh, I guess, the pre-post favourites in New South Wales. Well, Trish has played some weight here, oh, she's got a connection, that's going to make it better. Of a clearer run to it now, so a good shot there from Trish. Certainly, still use that the light blue bowl of Victoria, although this is probably a little wide. Yeah, taking a wide line. Stays up, it will be. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty good home. Pretty handy. Stays on. I don't Should do. No. Yes, it should stay on. It does. Trishy, will she go again? I think she has to, doesn't she, Ken? Yep, certainly, so. certainly shaping to drive. Oh, she's going again. Tell you what, she's not a ball away here. Might get all of them here. And does. Oh, wow. Oh, great shot. Still be one down, but. Great turnaround. Yep. Yep. Fine shot. So, South Australia just hanging on with the back bowl now, so it's only one. Oh, Samantha will be very happy with that. South Australian girls just having a team talk there. Of course, the live scoring will be up and at them again today through the Bowls Australia website. Just go to uh, events and the nationals and down the bottom of that nationals section will be the live scoring which no doubt Andrew Howery and some of the other Sorrento volunteers will keep us up to speed with during the, during the course of the day. And we'll bring some scores to you as well as we can see from our chairs here on B Green at the Sorrento Bowling Club as Laney just pulls up a couple of feet short from counting. Samantha chatting with Tris Stool and her third about what to play. I, I think she might still run at it, Lee. Yeah. Not a lot of room to draw and, and a couple of short bowls probably in the draw line as well. It's a big week for Samantha. She's uh, near for the Train championships next week too, and the triples on the pair, so it'll be a very, very big week ahead. So, looks like she's lining up on the forehand here, Ken. Yeah, I think that orange bowl probably six feet out from Jack, so she to get under that orange bowl. Yeah, she's going fairly, uh, fairly straight at this. Yeah, oh, that was a very good effort. Just didn't quite get down at the end. She was keen on it too. I'm not sure if you heard that through the, uh, through the effects, yeah. Mike, but she was yelling and screaming because that was halfway down. Well, you can only just see the finest edge of it. It'd be tricky to get it there clean, it'd be a fair shot. Lee Laney coming in with pace here. She doesn't want to peel out herself. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Oh, she's had the second shot out. Well, she's made two there. Very good shot from Laney. You expect her to go again? Well, I think she, yeah, I think she has to again. I think you've been one, she got to go again. Yep. Ask Samantha asking her third, same shot. And yeah, it'll be a tough shot to try and draw that. Tris was happy with the with the same shot. Yeah, I think Sam's going to line up and go again here. That away a little bit rough out of the hand, but she is close. Again. Away. She's close to the jack. She's got the jack. And the shot ball going in the ditch. I think it was a touch or so. And uh, they've picked that out and got shot. Well, that's two good drives. One missing by a millimetre, and that one getting the desired result.
Yeah, great shot, great conversion shot there from Samantha. So one all now after two ends. About a three quarter length, Ken, as we come back to the club. Jody's just sticking with the wide hand. Just going to run through. It's going to run through, but always a handy start when they pass ahead. Karen will do the opposite, she'll yeah, go to the, um, the backhand, the narrow hand. Yep, both ladies going on opposite sides of the green. Needed to, to run a, a little. Looks to be a pretty handy opener too. That's a mighty fine shot. Yep, very good start. There's three cracking bowls really from South Australian lead in a row. to lose a good metre here. That's a great correction here. Oh, look at that for a correction, Ken. Yep, Thank you very much. Yep, wide hand, not easy. Skipper was calling that a long way from home. Well, Karen's just going to stick with the backhand. This is going to be very handy. Be a handy bar for later on. And the catch and pen. So the leads have done their job. Well, we see Emma staying on the back end there, so she doesn't want to make the target any bigger. Just trying to beat that last bowl. Hard to tell the speed of the green today with that with the wind. It's probably a an extra second or two with the wind at your back. You're probably, if anything, into the wind going in this direction. Yeah, sure. they're probably running. I don't know. Wouldn't be 15 seconds yeah. at the most. I would have thought this early. 15 is good, comfortable pace. Probably out of the four greens, probably the last one to come in at the Sorrento Club. So it might be a second or so. Toe slower than some of the others. Just look over my shoulder. Lee and the, the Queensland boys have kicked clear early, so they're up already. Aggregate 17 to 3 over the ACT. So out of the blocks quick, the Queensland boys, after yesterday's practice matches, got a bit of a touch-up by the Tassie lads. Uh, defending champion, I think, for the men's... Yep, out of the blocks, though. When it really counts, they're out of the blocks. I'm trying to see who, where the margin is. Yeah, they're all 1, 6, 2, 4, 1, 7. Patrice Doolan now called the forehand, forehand draw. Skipper likes it again. This is working. Well, that's two. It's a very good shot, but it's also going to fatten things up for little target nearly. Yep. He should be reaching this. Well, not going super big weight at it. Just arriving. Did he watch? Not a ball away. Oh, this is a great shot. Oh, oh look at that. Terrific bowl. Perfect weight. Oh, didn't even need the outside bowl, Ken. Just got the shot bowl clean. Oh, I was looking at uh, Laney, the skipper, and there wasn't a lot of excitement as it was getting nearing the head, but did the job. Super shot. looking 
in the two rinks next door have got a bit of a kickstart. The SA girls leading 6 0 and 4 1. Yeah. Yeah. So 12 2, the aggregate as it stands at the moment to South Australia. I'm just going to run through to the back, so <coughs> certainly won't be wasted. Yep, that's a handy spot given. Um, and then Samantha's terrific drives on the previous end. Nothing wrong with the back bowl there. I mentioned Ken too, uh, just how hard it would be to get four grass greens renovated and ready during the winter time. It's certainly a very uh, difficult task. Yeah, and look, we we're certainly a little concerned about having the, you know, the nationals over two weeks this time of the year in Perth. Um, you know, greens sometimes for our pennant season, which is a couple of weeks away, aren't quite ready, the grass greens. So, the, you know, the three clubs done a fantastic effort in getting these greens up and running as they are this early in the season. Well, it did used to be in April, didn't it, the side series? So yeah, yeah, and certainly this move to uh, sort of mid-October uh, sort of works for a number of states, probably not so much for the southern states who have to obviously train and practice in their winter. Uh, greens obviously aren't at their best. A lot of work on synthetics to get to this stage, but... Yeah, no, um, certainly a lot of work by the greenkeepers here. Sorrento, very picturesque club, uh, north of Perth, near the coast, hits the breeze. But they've, uh, I said the club looks an absolute treat, and all four grass greens running uh, running really well. Okay, so final bowl here for Samantha. To try and take this bowl out in a couple of seconds. The team's looking on. The team's looking on, they're looking pretty keen. She's close. Oh, she's got it. A little trail of the jack two. She she has played a couple of whoppers early. Yeah, a couple of big conversions for the last bowl. I think as much, Lee, it's been just the perfect weight uh, as well. Yeah, very good weight control. Yeah, get the congratulations of her side. Yep, very happy. Yeah, don't blame them. A couple of cracking shots. I've well, got plenty of chances here, Lani. Yeah, so she'll probably line up on the back end here. See what kind of weight she plays. It's not short. No, I, I don't know if that'll get down on the, the tighter hand. No, it won't. Don't, two more to the Victorian girls. And uh, after three ends, uh, Victoria leading. 3-1. See Jody here, I think she'll stick on this wider side. She started off very well, very well on this tight side. Yep, she has indeed. Needs to continue that form. Suggest she's not far away again, Lee. No, she's... That's good leading. Yep. Well played. Just beat the T side there. Text Lee from one of my uh, fellow staff members at uh, Bowls Australia, Bowls WA, Troy Canane. He's uh, off to have lunch at the Railway Club Hotel in yeah. Melbourne. In Melbourne? Uh, over there for the Caulfield Guineas with right. a few mates. Uh, have a nice weekend of punting, no doubt. Off for a steak and seafood with a bottle of red for lunch. Wow. Isn't that nice? Well, uh, Troy joins us in commentary on Monday. Indeed. For the last game. Indeed he will. Regional Bowls manager for WA. 
So enjoy it while you can, right? Because you're back in the hot seat on Monday. Look at this. Great leading again from Karen. Amy, she's got a couple of balls to rest on. Yeah, she can hang on here, Lee. Yeah, I don't think she's played it too bad either. No, that's a very good shot for him, Emma. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Well played. Yeah, drawn it cold, had a toucher. Very well played. Quick look at the rinks next door. We've got Kate Argent Bowden stretching that lead over Cass Millerick, 8 0 after three ends. Yeah, Australian Open singles champion. And the furthest rink from us against SA up 4 1. Early doors yet, of course. Backhand, it's Emma. She's played it pretty well. Just probably running out of puff the last foot or two in the game, though. Probably half a bowl in front of Jack. You yeah, see very handy bowls there from Emma. Okay, Kate having a run there on the next ring. Far away from here, Sherrod neither. No. Needs to just keep holding on. Run that line. Yeah. Probably a handy spot for her three and skipper to use. Up and over a couple of times. Uh, Sorrento Bowling Club, can they have one of the biggest membership? Uh, I think probably one of the larger um, number of parent teams. As well as the Premier League, uh, always up at the pointy end. Yep, yeah, they have been for now, uh, probably best part of a decade. Um, I think you're probably right, Lee. They'd be in the top uh, top three clubs in terms of membership in Perth, metro area. Good club. Um, you know, a lot of volunteers have put their hand up for this one. They've, they really have done a fantastic job. Been working on this now for, for a number of months. Yes. Very excited. I have no these sort of events in Perth before. Yes, five grass greens and a croquet green. Five grass and a croquet, correct. Big footprint. See one, I'm not sure this will work into the breeze. No. It's the, the straight hand and we'll no, probably... See what she was trying to do, there's plenty of balls to sit. I'm not surprised, I think this breeze might even be a little stronger <laughs> than when we started. Yeah, this afternoon will be interesting. Victoria on the men's side are leading 10 3. That's Chris Trillin just looking to get inside that if she can and, she and will. Handy spot. Okay, so this needs to tighten up the line here. Tiffany. Very nice delivery, gets a good follow through on the bolt. Yeah, she tightened that up. Well, she's tightened it up. I think she's got a bit less weight too, so. Tell you what, she's close to the jack here, Ken. Oh, gee. Well, it was cracking ever, but she's kept it in place, so. We've got best backward now. South Australia's picked up the mat too on the ring next door, so it's at least 5-1 on the third ring. Oh, Samantha, she's lining up on the backhand here. I'm just looking at the big board, 13-4 after 9 is the aggregate overall. Of course, that's what we play in the side series. Overall aggregate is what counts. It's going to finish in a very handy spot here. Samantha, very good ball there. 
Yeah, so 21 ends. So 63 in total. Yep, all on the big board. So the ladder, interestingly, as well, Lee, a little bit different than what you see on Bowls Link. It's a little glitch in the system. So really the first thing, it's all about wins. So it's uh, wins first, and if the wins are equal, then it will come back to rink wins after that. So the points side on the right-hand side of Bowls Link, don't look at that necessarily. The first thing to look at is the wins and losses, and then the rink wins will come into play after that. So it's not the overall points to start with. Well, Lani's got the backhand to this. She's got to split. She's got a connection. It's the one down though. Yep, cut one out. And I say that because there was a little bit of conjecture in the over 60s uh, earlier on, where uh, one of the sides obviously had some plenty of rink wins, but had one less win. Well, it was the wins that actually count first, and only the rink wins come in after that uh, if the sides have equal victories. Target's not quite as big as it was after that conversion shot, so Sam might try and draw another one now. Just waiting for the wind to calm down. So forehand draw for Samantha here. Holding, what? Holding. She's just about going to do it too. Be very close. Very close. I'm not sure if she snuck in there or not. But so one, possibly two down here. Thirteen four is the aggregate board in favour of South Australia. So Lani, last bowl of the end. So she's just trying to draw the shot here, Ken. At least to hang on. At least to hang on. The drift, the breeze, just. Oh, gee, this is a gallant effort. I almost held on. Players. Shot. I think it might only be one. I think that last bowl might have taken the measure out of it, doing the finger measure. Just the one. So it's another single for Victoria. Samantha, they're trying to fire up the girls. A pretty long end once again here. Come back to the clubhouse. Cody leading off on the wide hand for the Vicks. And not too far into the future again. BBL Cup coming up. A uh, couple of Western Australian superstars featuring in that. Looking forward to it, Lee. Yes, I say. We certainly will. Your side, my side. Uh, looking forward to getting back to Pine Rivers. Terrific venue, of course, up there. Uh, been to Pine Rivers? I have. I actually uh, did the announcing uh, one year for the BPL. I was the uh, player caller at First time, first time as a player. So looking forward to it. Yep, no, good fun. No, right. what, yeah, certainly is a wonderful club. I think it's one of the best uh, in the country. Actually, it's great facilities there at Pine. Hospitality second to none with their courtesy buses uh, before and after the day. Stevie, the general manager, looking forward to getting up there and some of these little bacon and egg rolls. Oh. The pride of play, Lee, one of some of the best in the country. Right. And you saw me. Hello to Stevie, if he is watching uh, from up there in Pine Rivers. Looking forward to getting back there. That's a great event at the old BPL Cup. It certainly is. Fantastic event. Oh, Jody, she's just creeping up on it. I think she's. Might have just done enough there for shot. Look at some of the posts on Facebook, Lee, as usual, we're all around the world. Yes. Hello, Mary yes, England, global. Fife in Scotland. In Scotland. 
a bit nippy up there, I would have thought. Well, Karen, another great biology. She's playing well. Dunedin and uh, in New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Out of our New Zealand viewers. We've certainly produced some incredible bowlers over the years, New Zealand. Grew up watching Ron Brassie and Peter Bellis. They're two of the best. Yep. Sheridan. Holding one, just draw it on the backhand here. I'm trying to add another one to the count. On a very good line. I don't think the weight's too bad either. Yeah, fine shot. Yeah, that's working against the wind. That's good enough. Yep. Well played. Mike Watts watching from some place in Wales, which I can't pronounce. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Uh, she might have... Uh, well, she's, she's trying to come back. She's trying very hard to come back. Sheridan, not a mile away again here, just needs to keep running. Just dropping a little bit short. Trish on the backhand here, just trying to draw the shot. Looks pretty keen on it. Just having a look. Just needs to keep running. Well, she's done it. Very close to. Oh, just, just not quite enough a shot. Very good line here. If it falls in. Okay, so yep, a couple of chances, so she can draw with she can draw with confidence here, Trish. Needs to get down, I don't know if it will. Well, she had a very good weight for the shot. And Tiffany only just missing out with the first. Sticking with a forehand draw. And she's out there again. And just didn't quite have the running. So, it sort of protects two South Australian bowls a bit, so we might see, uh, might see a little bit more weight from Samantha. So, having a good discussion about this with Victorian girls. Just had a quick squiz. Although it's furthest away, rink from us, or green away from us, Lee, WA New South Wales, for the locals' interest. Uh, I think New South Wales pretty comfortably in front in both men's and women's. I think the men are down 21-9 to New South Wales, uh, and certainly the rink that's causing all the damage in the ladies, Ellen Ryan up 12-3 against Lisa Featherby. So a handy lead to New South Wales already over WA. We've got Queensland men right behind us. They lead ACT 21-8. Okay, so she's taking a fairly direct line here, Samantha. I'm not sure if it'll hang on. 
Well, let's see what happens here. So Queensland men lay up 21-8 and just peeking over the other side of the green with the ladies. Yeah, good start by the ACT. ACT up 22-6 against the Queensland girls, which mm. an upset potentially yes. in the making. Yes. Laney on the forehand. Be pretty careful here. She's played it's it well. Nice. She's played it very well. Played I think. this well, Lee. Or oh, she touched the jack. No. Such a jack's probably made three out of that. It was only one. Certainly both give us in good form. We're going to see. We might see a big weight here from Samantha. Let's see what hand she goes here. Well, it's going to be full hand. Full hand it is. Looks like she's going big again. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be quite large. Hasn't missed too many already. Nope. Oh, she's looking at this one too. Ah, what a oh, shot, Samantha. Oh, word. Very happy. Jack Clean right through. Excellent shot. She is on fire at the moment, this young lady. As you said earlier on, Leah, first crack at probably skippering for the yeah. you know, side series. And, gee, she's taken every, every possible opportunity. So, I'm not sure how many she made there. But I'm just, I think they had a few at the back there, too. So. What was that? White bowl, the two oranges and the blue. Are they all Victorian bowls? Yeah, I think they might be. Might be holding five. So all of a sudden. This lady. Money. Gosh. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, she looks to play this pretty well if she's around everything. Yeah, she needs a little bit of help oh, here. Oh, oh, she's got she a sneaky wick. Might have got. Has she ran on enough for a second shot? I'll right, leave that to the thirds to sort out. All looking at each other. Looks like we might see, uh, we might even get the umpires out here for this. Yeah, the umpires have been called. Just uh, yeah, another text from Big Troy Kinney before he goes off for his steak lunch. He said the live scoring not working, so uh, apologise for that. We'll see if we can get some technician onto that. Yes, I'm sure they'll be aware. So. So it's definitely one of the Victorian girls. A couple of our valuable umpires yes. from WA striding towards, leading the long measure. Oh, hang on. Probably need to bring a measure with him. <laughs> so these various shots all about seven feet from the ditch and this could be one Lee it could be yeah I don't know it's one only it could be four or five well, the Jack's Jack is slightly to the left to the, of the yeah, shot hole on the ditch which will hurt SA yeah she had very good weight Lani so she would have definitely got second had she had missed it you can just see on your picture just to the left of the umpire's leg the little white peg where the jack is and the bowl second from right will be SA's closest bowl let's have a look so they go to work well, it's, uh, what, what, kind of yep. measure, what kind of measure have we got here for this kid? it looks like a bit of a so let me go fishing for, flat, <laughs> fishing for flathead with this yes. one yes yep. uh, I suppose it's got to get it, it's got to get over the Look at the ditch there, so... Live scoring all working. We're back on. So we're back on. So let's have a look here. It's always a bit tough measuring the jack in the ditch. It take, yes. Well, the string in this case, having to go over the edge. 
You know, we haven't rolled anything out yet. Right, so here we go. Oh, oh, careful, mate. Yeah, well, that could have been a disaster. Ooh, <laughs> so it looks like the measuring for three can, I think, by the looks of it. It's yeah, it hasn't rolled anything out, is it? No, so that's definitely in. Yep. Four. No, it was four to the Vicks. Four. Four. Oh, that's big turnaround there. Geez, uh, her drives have got some value. Samantha Atkinson, three or four running shots now and got results out of all yeah, of them. Yeah, she certainly has. So we're informed, uh, Lee, by the World Championship singles marker, Ryan Havercroft. Oh. It's not a, uh, a string that you catch flathead with. No. Nope. <laughs> it's, it's actually called a peg string. Right. So there we are. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, now so, a bit of a jump now for Victorian girls on our live rink. 8-1 now. After a quarter, of the, quarter well, of the game gone. Really balancing though, Lee, the other two rings. So Victoria up 8-1 here, as you said, but looking next door, um, yeah. both Victorian rinks well down. Yeah. It looks like one is... 7-1 up, and the other... Yeah, Kate Argent Bowden, I think she's up 12-0. Yeah. So Sam Atkinson needs to be putting Jacks in the ditch and scoring yes, to... Yes, certainly does at the moment. ...keep them alive. So from a local point of view, Ken Penn is just about to get under away for another year, we'll kick off in a couple of weeks, so uh, just finalising uh, fixtures and... Yep, yep, a couple of weeks away, so uh, a lot of scratch matches and so on this afternoon for, for the various clubs. Um, yes. Of course our State Fours uh, underway well. next week, uh, increasing teams from last year, so that's fantastic. Just looking for an extra, I think we're still looking for an extra green to be able to take all of the yeah, sides okay. that are keen to play. And then uh, Saturday Penance into it the following week. Looking yeah. forward to it too. No, and Benny Swiss coming over as a marquee for a couple of games for Big Park. Yeah, your uh, club now, yeah. Lee. Explain what's going on there. Yeah, be a pretty good buzz around. Uh, we're gonna really well, we're actually playing a uh, host the double head around, so we have South Perth at home. We're going to play that game on Saturday night and hopefully get a bit of support for that. And then Sunday afternoon against Forestfield, so both both home games. So very big week for the club and yeah, very good for. I was here in Western Australia to get one of the superstars from over east to come and play. What's bringing Twisty across? Any particular other reason? or? Uh, well, we're pretty good mates, me and Benny, so originally he was just going to come out for a holiday and Pat Keith, the president of the big park, he jumped straight onto it and then uh, they touched base and managed to organise a, yeah, a couple of games, so it worked out really well. No, I know my club, South Perth, who, as you said, will play on the Saturday evening. Very much looking forward to that. Vix uh, are holding a couple. Sorry, mate. There's plenty of room. Yeah, he was dropping a bit short there, so line was good. Come on, the Victorian girls look like they pegged a little bit back on the fur far side ring. They've got the mat and they've... Bringing the mat right up. Right up, yeah. Uh, Sheridan trying to draw the shot here. It's just going to run through as well, so... Trishy will be looking to really try and nail this jack. Trying to make it very hard for the South Australian girls. They've got the momentum at the moment. With a couple of cracking conversion shots from Samantha the skipper. I'll tell you what, she's not far off from doing this either. Get down to the jank and she will. Yeah. Well, it's a great shot. Good play. Just makes it a little bit harder now. I think we're probably going to have to see a change of hand here now. It'll be a little bit too hard on that backhand to get in. Now, Tiffany. 
Play her back here on the tighter side of the green. Just trying to try and try and get a close ball, really. Try and cut this count down. That's a good effort if it falls in. Might get close to being second shot. Well, she just played a great ball there, Chris. I don't, no real need for her to change hands here. Just trying to draw another one in the head to try and beat that last bowl of, of Tiffany's. Trying a very good line again. Oh, it's not far away again here. Well, it just runs through the uh, gap there. Yeah, just creeps around the corner. Slight bit of breeze right on her tail then. Well, it doesn't need a big adjustment here. Tiffany, Not too far off for the first. She's on a pretty good line again. Might well, just run through. Oh, she's just rolled her own ball out, unfortunately, so it might be back to nearly three. Not a lot of numbers. SA skipper just pulling the girls together in yep. mid-green and uh, having a little chat about where they need to be. Well, they're not really doing much wrong. Karen's led very, very well. Teammates picking up Samantha's bolt for it. She heads back to the mat. Actually, don't mind the Victorian gear. They look pretty smart. Big V. Big V. Yep. Big v. Actually, they all look very smart, actually. Uh, it's good uniforms out there. So Samantha coming down to the backhand here. Just trying to add to the count. Oh, she, she can be forgiven with the balls that she's been playing at the moment. So, only with a little bit of work to do here. Could be three down. Touch quick and wide to me, I think, Lee. Yeah, I think so. I don't want to come back from there. Oh, so a big opportunity here. Samantha to really put the pressure on. I think a weight would have been good enough for the first. Sorry. Oh, she's not overly keen on that one either, so... That might actually. Oh, well, I think she will. I think that'll count. She, it's all going there. All going their way at the moment. Lady, big yeah. shot here. She's got a bit of a wiki woo there. Sort of our first uh, sneaky wiki woo that we've seen. Okay, Lani with a big draw here. It looks to be a better line, but I, I think it's still going to run on again. Yeah, through the head, nothing closer. Oh, that'll be their nearest bowl. That'll be their nearest bowl. I don't know if it's going to change too much though. So. Measure comes out, so it's going to be another reasonable caddy for Victorian girls here, I think. And both of these are going to be close to being in, I think that they are. So three, is the front one in? Three. Mm. So, so Victorian girls. Keep clear and low, they one ring versus two rings at the moment. Yeah, it certainly is. We've got uh, three three rings, all a bit of a blowout at the moment. So recap, 9-2 SA. Just got Cass Millerick in the way of her board. Yes, yeah, 12-1 that one, Ken. 12-1 is it? So 9-2, yep. 12-1 and 1-11. So the aggregate is 22-11 at the moment. Uh, th that'll need an update because... Uh, yeah, Sam, Samantha reckons the ring's already on 11, so. 14, I think, slashing. 22-14 yeah. to SA. Yeah, Jody, another handy start. Starting to get 
the hang of this white hand now. Well, Cameron, she's led very well. She hasn't put a foot wrong, really. It can always be uh, disheartening when you're a lead. You, you do your job, but how often do you see them hang around there at the end? Yeah, she's not getting a lot of value, is she, unfortunately for her? No. No, another handy start, too. Amazing what a couple of weeks of weather can do, Ken, when the Victorians were out here last time. Absolutely unbelievable. About 50 of them mill of rain. Yeah, slow greens. Um, certainly picked up a lot harder now. Um, you know, just a tricky wind, unfortunately, has blown all championships. And looks like, given the weather, um, you know, 31 today, I think it's even warmer tomorrow. Yes, we might be lucky that uh, Monday is uh, only a half day because uh, 37 on Monday. Victorian guys, 22, uh, 26-10. They lead the South Australians and the men's. I'll pick over my shoulder. The Queensland men lead the ACT 28-9. And still uh, upset on brewing the ACT girls up 25-12 yeah. no, over Queensland. From a fair way away, the Tassie boys are comfortably in front of the NT. It's like something like uh, 33 to 9 or 10. And similarly, the, uh, the Tassie girls are up at 18-11 against the NT girls. And the other green furthest from us, WA New South Wales, New South Wales up 28-12. And that is the men's score, 28-12 I should say. And I must admit, I can't quite see the ladies board, big board. Uh, one of the rinks though certainly is 10-3 to New South Wales. Uh, Ellen Ryan continues on her merry way against Lisa Featherby, leading 16 to 3. And the Christic rink uh, is just covered up by some of the players. So I would suggest a pretty handy lead to the New South Wales girls and boys over WA. Nice terrific draw shot from Sheridan. That's what the South Australian girls need to start doing. Okay, I think she might. Will she change hands here? I think she might can. Yes, she does. She switches over to the backhand. Gonna leave the wide side alone. A couple of, a couple of Victorian bells coming up. So, gone with the open hand. Oh, it's not too shabby. Well, it's a very good switch. The two crackers. Yep. Forehand, backhand. Thank you very much. Uh, Samantha given the option here. She's got both bowls that she can sit on. And uh, saw John, uh, might have been yesterday, but day actually, Scotty Thalburn clicked over his 150 games for South Australia. Okay, uh, I certainly saw him play the scratch match against Dudway in the morning. He yeah, was that might have been it. That might have been the game. That first game. Yeah. Well, he was outstanding. And a big rink win over Blakeney in 31-11, um, and played superbly. That's a very good effort. It's an, in a reasonable spot there. So, Trish had a good line with the first ball, just ran through a bit. To get the best back while with the first. So just be looking to adjust the weight here a bit. Well, she's pushed it out again. I'm going to come back. So 
So an opportunity here for the South Australian girls. Put a little bit of pressure on Samantha. Well, she's been up to it so far, Sachi. She's had yes, a terrific has. game, the yeah, Victorian de skipper. Debut, yeah, debut for, uh, for Victoria. It's a skipper, and then in comes another one here. So this is what they needed to do, South Australian girls. How many years it? Could be a few. Here, Ken. Or... Which would be fourth shot? Yeah, well, I think it might be this wing bowler's out here. I think it might be the light, the two tone blue one. You think? Yeah, I think it might be doing four or five here to South Australian girls. Uh, that wing bowl might be Victoria's closest. So, so man, you got a big one, big couple of bowls coming up here. Comes from a big bowling family too, Samantha, where all the folks play. State champion with a mum. Just backs off a little bit. Oh, just a bit of movement behind the head. Yep. Just taking us on. And a uh, bit more movement. Yep. <laughs> yep. She's just taking us on. Same yep. chap. Quite right. Needs to just mm. compose herself here. Big bowl. This is the rink that's keeping Victoria in it. Yeah, exactly. Well, she's playing with weight. If you get around that yellow and sit or she into the pack. She's into the What's pack. here? That's her own ball coming up. Well, she's turned Ooh. it out of the head. No change, really. I think South Australia, I think they're holding five here, Kent. Now, yeah. What's Laney? Laney to draw another one, such, or yeah. is she going to go back? Back and cover. We've got two... In fact, looking at the back, there's two Victorian bowls of the, the two backwoods. Uh, so they've got three of the back four bowls, Victoria. And just looking at the previous shot from Samantha, yeah, well, exactly. she's running again. Exactly. So probably going to cover to the T. That's what she's looking to do. Wide line. Yep, doesn't need to make the target any bigger. It's not all that easy for Samantha to get at. Yeah, that's what she's done. It's a cracking shot. That's uh, yeah, the best backwood. How does the front touch her? Well, Samantha, she's no, no mucking around. Straight on the mat. Could be a handful down. And they're looking. Oh, she's liking it. She's striding after it. What's happening now? Well, it's going to help. It's going to help. She's cut it down to three. I think she might have saved a couple with that one. So, I would have thought she would be just a flat backhand draw. Yeah, dead draw wants to stay off that front bowl. Doesn't want to turn that in, so. No um, real value anywhere else. If she gets it, she get that jack through that hole to the other. Well, I think it's important for these girls just to get the map back. Um, yeah, if she can grab a four here, that's, that's yeah, huge. It's, um, she certainly doesn't want to turn that front bowl so I don't, I don't think she'll try too hard he can to be honest I think she'll make sure she's got a safe line and she does she's trying hard uh, weight was very good will it come back if it falls in which oh, I think if it fell in it would have definitely counted peel three out you'd think the front bowl Samantha's last one is fourth shot no they're going to measure they're going to measure it I think you're right. It falls, falls over. It's yeah, in. Yeah, it falls over. It's definitely in. Three it is. So, SA, grab the mat back critically. Yep. Yep, that's what they needed. And, uh, only calling up the team. Bit of a team talk, just trying to chase this from men a bit. So we haven't really seen much. I mean, it's been three quarter length to long, 
pretty much all game, so we'll see yeah. what the girls do with the mat here. Yeah, she's gone right back again. Yeah, she's gone right back. And the skipper's on the tee, so it looks like they're oh, going tee to tee. Yeah, this ditch. Rinks just slowly creeping back, 9-5 now on the far side. A good jack roll, two from Karen, exactly where the skipper wanted it. One of your finer strengths too, Ken, jack rolling, this ditch. Especially? Yep. <laughs> See that ring next door, Lisa Phillips drove the South Australian bowls out and uh, yeah, drawn a, an absolute cracker as well. So, the game starting to take a slightly different complexion. As you'd expect, long day, 21 ends. It's pretty hard yep. to keep dominating for that yep. entire time. Well, both leads have actually led very well. We haven't seen, we haven't seen a lot of bowls outside of a metre. Very tricky conditions to lead well on, and uh, they've both started off very well. Great shot from Jody. Good leading. Yeah, very good leading. Yep. Those that aren't here, really tough conditions. Yeah, it is. This wind is really picking up. They're sort of playing with it over their left shoulder. I think I'd be happy if I could get within five feet with the way this wind is. Yep. Yep. Forehand, theoretically, the narrow hand going this way away from the clubhouse here at Sorrento. And the breeze coming over there. It's not straight across the green, but sort of over their left shoulder, that quarter. That's four good lead bowls there. Yep. All well played. All in play. I think that's also important too, Ken. You don't need you don't need front touches and shot every bowl if you can keep your bowls in play. That's all skippers want. Just in and around the head. Give them an opportunity when they get to the mat. Uh, looks a fine shot here, Lee. It's just probably gonna cut across. Weight's good, just yeah, weight drifting away. Good. Yep. up we'll be our host next week yeah and look good luck to you Lee yes in the, uh, sneak snuck in the triples in the triples first up first day yep set the scene set the scene yeah and a mighty fine bowl here oh, look at this great shot that's yeah, work behind super bowl yeah in the triples good luck in that yes. obviously uh out at June lap hopefully the breeze will drop off a little bit for you because that's as a, compared to the two clubs yeah uh, even more open yeah that's right it June is. Lap. Oh. certainly is very open club, four greens, out in front of the clubhouse. Just, just drifting across. Oh, that was good again. Doesn't matter. Just having a good look at the head here. So I can see that final board now. The, the Featherby Van Eldick game, I think. Oh, sorry, uh, Christic Van Eldick game with Christic leading eight. Four, so eight four, but the other New South Wales rinks well in front, well in front with yeah. the ladies. Stand up, I might see the big board for the boys. Thirty three seventeen, New South Wales in front of WA. Well, Emma played an absolute cracker with the first. She switched over, switched over to the forehand. The line's very good. Will it run far enough? Another handy bowl. So 
Tiffany. We'll see what she can do here. One down at the moment. Once she get down to the bar, well, great shot here. Uh, She's got it. Yep. Clean. Yeah, settled out clean. There must still be one. Still one of the Victorians. Yeah, still might be one of the Vicks, yeah. actually. So. Samantha still was happy to go one. Looking to just drift in underneath that orange bowl and trying to sit under the yellow. Patricia just looking to draw the shot in the forehand. Just trying to get another ball roundabouts. So our next match will feature the New South Wales men playing Northern Territory. Our viewers, so the conclusion of this game will probably break for 45 minutes to an hour and it'll be our afternoon session. Yeah, one o'clock, I think. Uh, one o'clock, schedule, Schedule's up, one o'clock Western Standard Time. Yeah, three hours difference now, Ken, isn't it? Now, three, three hours the, it is. With the Eastern States having daylight like savings just recently. Yep. Already trying to shot here, Leach, us yeah. again. Floating around outside of the head. See Dave Stockham watching on, one of the South Australian greats. I'm Australian representative, Australian selector, I believe. Yeah, I think he's an Australian selector still, watching yes. intently. Yes, I'm lucky enough I've had a game with Dave. Was that trying to sneak into some national yes. squad? Was that the reason for that? <laughs> no, he's a very good, very good player in his day. Lani coming back to the mat here. Looks to be one down with the wing bowl. Oh, the girls are looking on. The girls are looking really keen. Yep. Starting to come home What's now. What's going to happen here? What's going to move? Jack move? Ooh. Jack has moved and. Has well, he's very happy. Well played. Yep, they're all uh, South Australian bowls, I believe. Up and about. Oh, pretty big bowl there. Marnie, she might have, might have made three again here, Ken. She can resurrect something again. Yeah. Atkinson played really quite superbly today. She certainly has. Playing the forehand. Yeah, first game's given for a state. Forehand draw it is. Let's see what the reaction of her team. Yeah, they're having a look. Having a real look. I'll tell you, if she gets a clear run. Oh, that's her own bowl. And that's it for shot. Off a shot. Well. Not overly sure that was what she well, was chasing, but no, that'll it, do. It was in the run in. That will do. Oh, well, you can see our, our angle there. It's, uh, it can go clean. That's what Lady be trying to do here. Big bowl here if she can get this out. Much yet. I think she's yeah, pulled a tight yeah, end. Oh, it's drifting. Yeah, she'd be disappointed with that. So Samantha can breathe a sigh of release. So, pretty 
you safe here just to draw on the forehand piece of wing bowl should make another one yeah let's sort of sit on that small wall well the big thing's back here victoria they've uh 25 19 at the moment and then whatever happens on this end to go on she got the right weight she got the width to get around that front bowl Gee, she's well, she is close two absolute crackers she's tried the jacket she's made two out of it i think she has two it is yep gee so. whizzy she's uh, having a, some sort of game yep, here Samantha, she's, she's done the damage again so samantha just bringing the girls up yep and the team chat be a pretty positive team chatter would have thought 13 to 4. Well, exactly, yes. Up, yes. Yeah, so there's only going to be about four shots in the aggregate now. That's Pep Talk. Yep. The cross at the uh, the fellas. Victoria after 22 ends. Victoria up 29-17 over SA. Quick look behind me in the. Queensland ACT men, Queensland up 32-17. And then out behind me, which we were talking about, potential of a little upset early on, it's Queensland ladies getting back into the game. ACT up still after 26 ends, ACT 28, Queensland 22. Over on the back green, uh, it looks like the Tassie boys against the NT are about 20 in front, looks about 38. 18 and the uh, ladies can't quite get a good look at the big board for uh, the Tassie NT ladies game and we mentioned earlier on New South Wales pretty comfortably in front of WA both men and women Right, back to this intriguing yep. match. So they four in favour of the Victorian girls, but still trailing on the aggregate board. Um, Kate Argent Bowden leading 12 3 over Cassandra Millerick. And on the far rink, Katrina Green leading Lisa Phillips 9 5. So we get to about the third, third of the way through. You look at the differences too, Ken. Uh, New South Wales, I think their whole team probably all work at a bowling club, and I don't think there'd be one in the in the Western Australian side. Yeah, um, mm. on paper, pretty well national side, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah it certainly is. New South Wales girls and looked at New South Wales boys for that matter. Yes. Uh, one stage, of course, they made a slight change to their side, but one stage had uh, you know, Ray Pierce missing out. Yes. On the New South Wales side. Uh, Carl Healy, the Australian skipper, playing as a two. Yep. So incredibly yep. strong. Just how strong they are. Well, they, they could they could probably bring three sides quite easily. Karen, Karen out. Led very well again. Got one right on it. Sheridan. Trying to look at trying to look at adding another one here. Pace looks good. Yeah, it won't be too far away. Yeah, this will be... She can finish on the line here. It'll be very good. Uh, died probably at 15 inches short of the jack. Just the one rink that's sort of a bit of a blowout in the in the men's side. Looks like it's the rink of Anthony Flapper. It's up 16-4. At uh, Scotty Thulborn's rink. I believe. A 
couple of good balls there. Must make mention uh, Lee of their uh, great supporters from uh, Tourism WA. Yes. Uh, who've done so much to make sure these championships have uh, supplied funding to get these uh, wonderful nationals here to Perth. So thanks so much to Tourism WA and, and a really big thank you as well. Also done a lot of work behind the scenes in assisting the conduct of the championships of the city of Joondalup. Uh, those who don't know, both all three clubs, Warwick, Joondalup and Sorrento, are in the city of Joondalup. And they've been great supporters, both financially and in other ways as well. So our appreciation go out to those two government instrumentalities. Well, she's just having a bit of a sneaky run at that. I'd suggest they're two... Well, might be. I'm not sure that back one is in or not, but certainly two, the purpley colour plus the shot bowl. So 13-4. Uh, getting to the pointy end of the ninth end. Victoria 13-4 in front. We've got the ag back to within four. So they're coming, coming back strong here, the Victorian side. Well, he's just pushed this wide again. Oh, Sam. In Troy Somerville, just mentioning how well young Sam's playing. and Absolutely right, Troy. She is having a cracking game of bowls. She's going to have to do it here again on the next end. Not set up all that well. She's going to be three or four down here by the time she gets to the mat. See if this hits this bowl. And when it does, sits that out. I think the closest... Victorian bowl is the... Is that one? I think it's the one that's... Yeah, sort of, what is that, about 7 o'clock as we're looking at it now. If that is, they could well be... Yeah, I reckon they're 4 here, Ken. Could well be 4. I'm not sure, does that plant... I'm not sure if that plant gets onto the jack or not. Oh, it'd be close. I think it might just catch it. Looking at you know, speaking with uh, Tris Doolan, her third, it looks like she'll play backhand and, and just try and flick the outside of the shot bowl. Tough shot though. Yeah, it is a tough shot. You get a, a bowl's width. Yep, it's not a big target at all. The girls wants to get down. It's trying. No change. No change I, just wonder, I just wonder if Laney would uh, leave that backhand open. Yeah, I think she might actually. Yeah. I think that's probably the, the right option. But Forehand draw yep. into that sort of dark blue bowl on the line. Count, cover. I don't think you'd be wanting to be giving anything for, for Samantha to work off. Well, she's going the backhand, Ken, so... Well, so much for that. Yeah. See where this... Where she leaves this. Really doesn't yeah. want to leave no, it. No, certainly not. 45 degree angle or jack high. Certainly just not. Probably just struggling. Well, this is going to... That might be a well, fair... That's probably going to make things harder, actually. That's a... That may well be a blocker. I and mean, she's asked how many down are we? Well, she said that counts. So this... Goodness. Tristool and says that last bowl actually counts, and then and she said it's probably four. Mm. So the three short purpley looking bowls are all in. Well, this is what I think they're going to look at playing, Ken. I think they're going to be right through that pack. We'll get that second purple bowl right on the noggin. I think you're right. I think that plant will flick that jack. And what have we got out the side? Lee, the yellow bowl. About a metre behind the head, it could well end up there. Or the orange bowl to the left of the screen could end up shot. So the few options. Well, or does she try and cut it down, try and draw on the forehand, try and just uh, see if she can get second shot? I think the way she's played so far, she hasn't missed any of those, those running shots. No. So, I'll pump as you go straight up the middle and look for that plant. Well, she's going forehand, so... Yep. 
straight up the guts it will be. Yep. Yep. This man's the last bowl. Could be up to a handful down here. She's going large. The girls are looking. The girls are looking. What's happening here? Oh, that's a oh, she's killed it. Tremendous shot. Gets the jack out of bounds. Wow, she's played oh, that shot she well. She certainly has. Only really had a just over a bowl target. And played it absolutely beautifully. It's a big, big save there. Could have been, could have been close to a handful down there, Samantha. So yeah, playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. It's the Australian indoor singles champion heads yeah. off to Guernsey, I believe. Uh, Guernsey next year, but next April, I think it is. Well, while she's playing at the moment, she'd be a chance to win anything. It's. Uh it certainly suits her this green at the moment. Yeah. Probably, you know, it's 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 not lightning in uh, in Perth terms anyhow. But uh, it'd be a good 15 seconds, I would have thought. 15 and a bit. Yeah, she might uh, she might be giving the uh, national selectors uh, something to think about when the next squad gets named too. My word, good young player, winning everything at the moment. Yep. Back in Victoria, I'm told. Yep. State triples and pairs champion. to add next week yep. to her national title yep. so triples and pairs opportunity you'll have a good view of that Lee in the uh, the triple you yes playing yes, alongside uh, of you yes. yourself good self looking to add another national title to your uh, uh, well, it'll, be, it'll be the first <laughs> oh Karen she, she's led so well she has played beautifully yeah yeah been very, very steady. Not the easiest conditions to lead in, by any means. Well, Jody. Jody looking to replicate. Oh, what a great correction this is. That's a wonderful and a little touch. Great shot. Well, just a little fall against the bias, if you don't mind. Take it, someone picked up that little nibble of the jack. Where's the skipper? Yep, here she comes. Yeah, well, the way Karen's drawing, you're nearly back in the draw this, the way she's led. It's a great line, Lee. She's just going to arrive. I don't think she... Tell you what, she's trying very hard. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a very good effort. It's probably shot in two hours' time. Yeah. Green gets a little freer. Yeah, and there'll be plenty outside that. A little warmer, a little harder. Do they roll the greens in between, Ken? Or they uh, I was speaking with Peter Harris, the WA men's coach, Probably yesterday, that, that and I think they are going to yeah. roll them between games. Not sure if they would or not. Oh, yeah. Not sure there's a particular need for it. but No, I was going to say, I think the, the pace is pretty good. I think the players yeah. are happy with the pace. Yeah, my understanding, though, is they, they will. So, uh, again, a little bit more baking sun. Uh, if it's typical Perth weather, the sort of easterly we've got at the moment should fall away around lunchtime before there's some sort of sea breeze in the afternoon. So I think the best conditions for play will be in the next hour or so. Uh, Sheridan, tell you what, she's not a mile away off drawing this. She's played this beautifully. Well, what a great shot from Sheridan, drawing it cold. Yep. Beautiful bowl. So Samantha just wants another bow on the head, so and I had a good line with the first bow. We just needs a good meter. Well, I think she's probably yeah, I don't know if she's got it either. No. Like a little bit of speed and it's the wind pulling it across the head. Sharon, can she do it again? I think that's where, about where her first one came from. She's got the weight. Well, the line was perfect again. Yeah, just a metre. What she has done, though, is make it pretty hard for Tristool, and it almost blocks that backhand off, and the forehand, similarly, has got some stuff in the way. Yeah. See Samantha there calling for her to reach... Between 
the light blue and the purple bowl. Yep, see if she can get that shot bowl out. There might be a chance the ball goes through the hole, Ken. Which well, a little bit of weight, I think, Suchi. It's a turning hand. It won't. I think it's not a dead draw, this one. I think she's playing almost a bit of a swinger. Holds on its way. And will she get down? I tell you what, I don't think she's a mile away. She gets down. I think that's the weight for the shot. Yeah, I think that's that. Look, it needs to be that weight to get onto that front blue bowl on the line. Unless you're quick, I don't think she can get to the shot bowl. Mm. Lady McCormick just asking for a little bit of cover. I'm not sure she's got the line for the cover. She might have a line to draw another shot. That's just quite what the skip was after. Now, Tris looking to do, play that shot, but again, just losing her line, and that, well, I'm not sure that opens up a yeah. shot now for Samantha or closes it. Yeah. She may well play that big She might have to go well. she yeah. Well, it's done some damage so far. This ball's certainly going to cover around the back. Needs to stop. She overplayed it, she has. That's going to just flop into the ditch. Seeing some of the Sorrento volunteers putting up the market umbrellas, which could end up in Bunbury in, yeah. uh, in, a, few yes. minutes, in a few minutes' time. Yes, I'm not, they want to be bolted in pretty well. I'm not sure that we actually want this, because <laughs> these could go. These could take off. So it's Samantha. It's line off on the backhand. How much space is she going to play here? Oh, I, I think she's going to be solid. Oh. Yeah, she's going to go with a swinger. Well, he's into the front pack. So now what's happening here? Oh, she's going to make a connection. No, oh, she hasn't. Oh, the nick. Away she goes. Well, it's still in bounds. It looks like she's just trying to get a connection there on on Tiffany's bowl. Well, I guess any, any split, you get the yellow or just to open something up to give her a shot. Moments, very, very narrow gap there, that weight. Just to see if Laney can draw, can draw another one, whether she does go big, which has been so successful for her this game. Yeah, it certainly has. So, Laney on that backhand. Well, it's not around the pack. Really is ploughing into. Oh, it's not going to make it any easier at all. No, that's closed the so gap altogether. Yeah, locks the bowl off, so. Wow. Uh, well, I, I think it's just got to be. No, that's only just over the draw again, Lee. Not quite sure what she's looking to get out of this sort of shot. Well, she's only one down, so. And won't do a lot with that. Yeah, it's only one down, so it's. Yeah. Yes. Probably didn't want to run the risk there. There might have been a chance that the shot bowl could have got onto their nearest. And Lady just looking to sneak around the pack. She got the sneak weight. She has. Let's get down. She Here it comes. She's done it. Well, how many she made there? Rolls the one out. She might be unlucky here, I don't know. Yeah, one more roll, I think, with our children yeah. chasing. Second one already rolled out of the head for SA. Didn't see how many that was, Ken. Did you see how many it was? They didn't tell us. Not that I saw. No, I think it was two. Looks like it was two. Thirteen six.
13-6 in favour of the Victorian girls. Kate Argent Bowden leading Cass Millerick 13-4. And Katrina Green leading Lisa Phillips 11-5 as we approach the halfway mark. Boys, uh, a little tighten up a little bit. Victoria after 27 ends. Victoria's 34 to SA 25 in the men's. Nine the difference. Just over a third of the way through that game. So see who's caused the damage. It looks like Anthony Flapper up 16-8 over Scotty Tholborn. And what else have we got? Brother Matthew up 11-8 over Wayne Rudiger. And the Dylan Fisher game just obscured a little bit. I think it's fairly close, that drink, though. Dylan Fisher, Nathan Black, SA a 10. Yeah, 10 8. There we are. So SA, Nathan Black over Dylan Fisher, 10 8 up. So 27 34 to Victoria now after 30 ends. The boys quick look at some of the other matches around the green. We've got uh, in the men, Queensland men up 38-26 over the ACT. Uh, in the ladies, ACT up 34-26 after 34 ends. Uh, just trying to see over the back, it would look like the New South Wales ladies well, there's some changes there. It looks like uh, certainly one of the rinks is 9-12 to New South Wales. Uh, the early blowout, which was the Featherby Ellen Ryan game, is, is probably not a lot different. It looks like oh, ladies walk right in front. So I think it's 6-19 to Ellen. Um, but on the flip side, is the Christic Van Eldick rink and Christic is up 19 to 4. Mm. So um, that would be obviously probably tightened up a little bit in that with the Christic score. The Wales will hold a lead but certainly by no means as much as it was. Uh, and looking at the men's score, I won't be able to do the rinks but overall New South Wales 43 WA 24. And that's on after 34 ends. Well, a couple of great balls from the seconds. Sheridan drawing the shot, but Emma had the answer. Uh, Sheridan now switching over to the forehand. Smith are there just asking Emma just to draw up to it. Can turn her own bowl up. Looks a solid line. Skipper likes it. Yeah, she's going to sneak in a very good home. Yeah, two very good bowls. Okay, so same idea here for Tiffany. It's the full draw, so just making sure you're up. It's sort of fading away, yeah, I it's think. Just not going to hold on, I don't think. Uh, she had an extra couple of feet. She, she would have said that bolt. So 
So, skipper and three, just working their way through some scenarios. Samantha's keen just to get up through the head. Okay, so backhand it is. Here for Trish, she's had a good look at it. Play reaching. Reaching weight. Yeah, not overly excited, the skipper. Oh, she's, uh, Teammates. Narrow. Drifts away. Still in play. Up. Stayed on. Okay. Tiffany, left hander, of course, on the widish hand. Just fell only a foot and a half short with the last bowl. Better pace with this one. Lee. Looking to get that up and over. Oh, doesn't oh, quite change the angles a little bit. Oh, no, what a Samantha call here. They're holding shot, but it's not, yeah, it's not very easy. Not very easy to get another bow on the head there. Samantha Cole and Trish up to come and have a look. It's been a real good discussion here because they've kind of we've only got we've only got one a month, three or four there, so. Just looking over that New South Wales WA ladies game, I think it's for the difference now because of that uh, the Christic rink over Van Eldick. Samantha wanting Trish to keep her weight, so. Playing backhand. Yeah, so. See what happens here. Ooh, playing with good weight. Yeah, she's got more weight this time. Not sure that's going to hang on, though. Ooh, ooh. We would have taken that, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's um. interesting shot, though. Yeah, it is. They're, they're holding one. Yeah, it's really... What Laney will play here, Look, probably just getting that yellow, almost a split up and over onto the shot bowl, maybe flick that out sideways, the shot bowl. It's not locked in. No. Yellow onto the blue to yep. push that through the head. Yep. She may well just leave yep. that. And go clean out. Sort of brownish bowl as shot. Certainly it's a good positive draw. Oh, they're not saying much. No so one particularly looking at it as it drifts, yeah, drifting under. Might have just needed a fraction more weight as well, I think. Now, there's really no change, so... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if Sam can... I don't know if Samantha can get too crazy at this. Just want to get a stiff result here and somehow get her own bowl out. Yeah, I'm not sure what she'll try and play here. Well, let's we'll see what Samantha does here. We'll try and change this up. We'll see. We'll see play safe. Let's have a look. Well, she's going back in, so she she might be trying to play this. Yeah, a bit, bit perplexed as to 
what she's looking to do here. Yep, she is. Playing with solid weight again. Yep, she's trying to change it up. No, no one's really too worried about... Oh, oh, oh. what's happening here? Well, oh, there it goes. It's gone oh. out clean. And hold three. Yep, I suppose that was the risk. One very... Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what she was looking to do there, but... Well, I think she was trying to come underneath to try and move those uh, that plant, but... Hmm. There's Eleni now, come and have a look. Well, it's just a straight draw, really, to try and add. Well, yeah. Doesn't really want to be touching no, it doesn't too much that at all. No. Maybe a backhand draw if she can squeeze through those. The front purple yeah. and blue, just inside the orange, perhaps. No, she doesn't want to be touching any jacks, so that's probably the safest way to go on the narrow hand. Let's see what she's going to play. No, complete opposite forehand. Obviously looking to stiff this one. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, Across the head with that breeze. Gonna, yeah, that won't do too much. Oh, hang on. She's got to sneak off the front. Okay, so that'd be, I would think three it is. Well, I think I don't think Samantha will muck around with this. I think she'll try and smack that front one. Try and get a couple of them out that might all go. Okay, so three down at the moment. Yep, I don't think she'll muck around with this, Ken. I think she'll be straight up through that front bowl. Oh, well, I think we've mentioned before she's played this shot so well today. Yeah, she certainly has. She really hasn't missed a running shot all day, so and has got multiple shots out of the, over, over the shot as well. She's certainly lining up. Big forehand runner. Plenty of weight. Is she going to hang on? Oh, she's not. Oh, gee. You wonder how bowls go through there somehow without touching yeah. anything. Okay, three, it is. three shots though. So they've totally tightening up. Bounce back with a two and a three here to get the margin now back to within four. What does that do to our aggregate? Let's have a look. The other rinks. Well, this might have pulled back a bit because. Uh, well, 11 8 on uh, uh, the Phillips rink. Yeah, 11 8 SA. 13 7 on, on the Millerick. Arjun Bowden. Well, she's lost to Jack here. She's lost the jack, so Victoria will get the get the change the length here. Jody's brought the mat up a fair bit. <laughs> so it looks like back within five, the big board yeah. tells me. In uh, overall yep. aggregate. So it's game on here. So we start the 11th end, the second half. Well, she's made up for losing the jack there. Very good start once again from Karen. See Jody going weather this time. Going weather on the tight side. As we go away from the club side. Another, another terrific leader's bowl. Got she? In the. Oh, yeah. just ducking in the last moment. So if you just joined us, uh, match coming up will be. Northern Territory versus New South Wales. The men's this afternoon. Big Tristan Smallicum against yes. Lee Schrainer, who was our most recent Champion of Champions yes. winner, so we'll know the Sorrento Greens pretty well. I did watch him play last week in the Championship. He wasn't that chirpy about the wind, I must no, say. He no, no, it's. Uh, didn't like the wind, Lee, but still able to win another Australian mm. title, Champion Champs. And Tristan, the former winner of the event, too. Oh, very good correction here. 
from Jody. She's drawn the shot. I think the girls will be happy with that. High fives. Good line, but I think she's going to run a puff. Yes. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. So, Emma. A little touch of the jacket around the corner here would make it a lot more difficult for the South Australian girls. Oh, she's got the jacket as well. I'm just going to trail it right through. Okay. We're having a peek, Lee, over that ladies uh, game, which seems to have just turned on its head. Um, we've got New South Wales leading on run one rink 16-10, and leading on another one 19-6. to six. That's 13 and 6 is 19. And the Christic Van Eldick rink, Christic now up 24-4. to four. Wow. So they'll, they'll just about put them in front. And so that puts WA in front by one. Yeah. Uh, after sort of 13, 14 ends. So that's an extraordinary comeback yes. with a blowout with uh, Christic and Van Eldick. So Emma just needs to slow up a bit here. She's going to lose that one. We've lost that. So, running with the foot out, showing where she wants Tiffany to put it. Try and get a close second shot here, that's what they'll be after. Yeah, she's going to hold, it's a little... No. Uh, I don't know if she quite had the way to get there either. She's a good opportunity here to put some pressure on. Yeah, something hanging over the back of the ditch would be absolute gold because that's the only place the jack's going to go is pretty well straight back. Can she, can she get around the pack and still stay on deck? Yeah. Uh, I think that's gone as well, Lee. I think that's yeah, in the well. It certainly has, so. Now, who can get first? Who can get that positional bowl yep. first? Is the key. I've only got probably two feet to draw past the jack, so not easy. This looks a better line, Suchi. This looks a much better bowl altogether. Well, it's not a bad shot here, I'll tell you. Yep, skipper happy enough. Yeah, it's a good second shot. So two seconds now. South Australian girls. One hit the ditch at pace. This one, I think, will certainly stay up. Yeah, she'll stay up this one. It's a pretty good, good oh, shot. It's oh, still running through a bit. Oh no, this will be all right. Tell you what, if it falls in, certainly oh, it's not a bad spot anyway. Certainly gives uh, certainly gives Atkinson a shot. I wonder whether she can get through on that backhand, Lee, but underneath the yellow bowl. Yep. On that yep, angle. That's what she'll be trying to do. Or is she going to draw just a flat draw forehand like she called Triss to play? We'll see what Laney does, I guess, until she makes her mind up. It does seem on the angle that we're sitting a, a shot on the backhand. Which is what Laney will play. Not a lot of gap. She just creeps. She's very close, Lee. Very, very close. Oh, oh. gee, I thought she'd missed that yeah. yellow bowl. She was all over it. Yeah, she probably didn't have enough weight to clip it out, though. But 
She's got three seconds, though. Yeah, well, you can see from that angle, it's not going to be all that easy to chip out. She's probably going to have to... She's probably going to have to come off the, the wing bowl there, isn't she? Or? Well, the key bowl, really, is that is also that back mm. Victorian bowl that stood up. And that was the first one to get there, because if that jack moves, of course, that's where it's going to. So, fish with a the guide there for where she wants Sam Samantha to try and get to. Yep, flat draw. Probably has... Probably got two feet. Tidy line. She's got the legs. Close. So she's going to stink. Close. She, look at this. What has she done? Oh, oh Samantha. Oh, my Lord. What a shot. And happy. What a shot. Yep, fist pump in the air. That's going to make it quite difficult now. Don't blame her. That it was a cracker. Barry Lancaster says, hello, Lord Such. You know Barry Lancaster? Yeah, certainly do. Old St John's boy from back in the day. Hello to you, Barry. Hello, Barry. Now, that's just a wonderful shot. Does she try and replicate that? Yeah, I, I don't know. This, this does not look easy to get that. Could she swing through on the backhand with a little bit of punch? That's where she's going. Promote her own yellow bowl. You know, in off the yellow, promote well, the yellow. Well, I think that's the best result. I think she needs to use that yellow bowl. That's close to lead. tell you what. She has played. Oh, it's just drifting. Is she going to get down to it? Ooh. Oh, it's a gallon effort. It didn't really have a lot on there. It was, it was tough to get at. But. Oh, not going to. Uh, I don't know. For a moment, I thought they were declaring the head, but no. Well, it's pretty safe on the four end, Ken, to draw it. Yep, same bowl, really. Absolute yep. cracker last bowl. Just replicate that. That'll be a, gee, a big three if she can. Steady the ship a little bit after a few good SANs. Well, first one was a peach. So, man, they can she do it again. Tell you what, they're looking again here. They're looking again here. If she sneaks it, she's going to be close. Oh, just uh, just no no damage bit. done, so yeah, two to the Vicks. Puts them back to six in front. Looks like a uh, look across the boys' rinks. Uh, Suchi looks like the SA boys are getting back in the game. Uh, we've got South Australia now. I think it's 35 or 39 to 42, so certainly the gap's narrowed. Hard to tell whether it's a nine or a five. I've got a feeling it's a five. So I think it's 35 42 Victoria after 36 ends in the boys. One, SA 33 30 in the ladies' encounter after 32 ends. Let's turn around. We'll have a look at the other some of the other states' scores. Queensland. Up over the ACT in the men's event 44-28. And in the ladies, ACT still holding a nice lead over Queensland. ACT 43, Queensland 34, and that's after 41 ends. You mentioned the New South Wales WA scores tightened right back up with a Christic rink holding sway over Van Eldick by some 20 shots. Balancing out the two other rinks, and then the boys, though, New South Wales have got away again from WA, uh, and they lead that encounter 51 26 uh, for about 32 ends. So that's about where we stand at the moment. Some cracking games, Suchi. Yes. The Ebbs and down, flows, Suchy. yeah. Really? In this. Uh, in the ladies' encounter. Yes, uh, Karen, good line with the first. Let's take a, a metre off. Both leads now on the line. Uh, 
and draw here. That's probably the first time since we've seen the leads not yeah. crowding the jack, really. Yes. Um, a terrific battle, the well, two leads. Certainly, certainly have led very well. Really tight, tight game. Probably interesting that this is the first time we've really played a, you know, almost a minimum length end. Yeah, it was the shortest end of the game. They've uh, consequently all uh, zipped past by a metre and a half. The same, everyone's just yeah, everyone's so uh, it's uh, it's tricked them, yeah, the change of tactic. And it certainly is, you know, it is minimum length, all right, it's not mm. long at all. This one, well, I'd back him out to make a correction here. Well, here's the shot, anyhow, yep, and she has. Thank you, right. you didn't make me look silly, thank you. Try and respond. Again, she's played this pretty well, Sachi. Yeah, That's no, good correction for both girls. Just dribbled through for second shot. So, okay, I think we'll see Trisha on the forehand. Just looking to beat that last bowl of South Australia. So 15 9. The big girls lean. The other rinks are closing the gap. Tell you what, she's trying pretty hard here. That's number yep, one. That's number one. It's the boss. To get down to the jack. Ooh. That was a good effort, gave it every chance. So Victoria holding a couple. Little Kate's killed. See the jack flying across there. So they've had a couple of dead ends on that ring. Had a cracker with the first. I'm trying to do it again. Looks good. And she's not going to be Looks too far good. off again here. Up off her own. Yeah, well, look yeah. at that. Front oh, toucher. It's just falling against the bias, though, so it might have. Okay, so the call here from Skipper. Sit the ball on the backhand. Yep. Bowl on the back. Her, be her forehand. So there's some chances here. Well, she's certainly uh, getting there at the rate of knots. Well, just flicking that ball over. Okay, so the wind's picking up again, getting a bit strong. Yeah, it has. It's. Enjoy here for Samantha. Just needs to get down a bit. Here it comes now. Mate's very good as well. It will be very close. But just missed out. Yeah, not quite sure. Is she played the runner on the backhand, or, well, I, or think it'll definitely, I think she'll definitely play the backhand can. I think she's got she's got too many chances there. 
Use the wall, set the shot ball out, trail Jack. And it's no, forehand. She, no, she's going forehand, okay. I think she's looking at the, to cut down. Well, she's playing she's playing with some weight. Oh, she might get a round ball out here. Remember she's hung around Ooh, there. Oh, she might get a second shot out of that. Ooh, that worked. Yes. A bit of a fortunate result there. She's got the right connection. Well, she's probably locked it in too behind, so... Samantha won't be able to get that out. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like she might be thinking the best shot is to take the one and cover anything that Laney might be looking at. You would think just a flat forehand draw. Hopefully. That's the wide hand flopping off of Laney's last bowl. We'll maybe get into that sort of five o'clock type area and look to cover anything that Laney might kick out to those yellow bowls. See what she does. It's backhand. So I think she's just trying to cover those yellow bowls, Suchi. Just in case Laney does get yeah. a little kicker out there. Drawing the shot. Oh. Oh, is that enough for two? Well, I think she can both if she wants to here. I think inside yeah, the blue. She, see if she stays on the forehand or not, he can. I'd well, she did prefer that. Which again, she can kick that shot bowl over, jack out of the side. They've got two yellow ones. This probably would get to him. Or well, she plays firm weight down the backhand, gets the inside of the blue, inside of the white. That's forehand. Forehand, so, yep. Staying with her preferred shot. They can still get it inside of the yep, blue. Yep, still I think. can. That's what she's probably chasing, the inside of the blues. Oh, I don't know if it's going to get down, is it? It's trying, here it comes. Oh, oh look at that, she's got it clean. Terrific shot. Well, absolute ripper. Yep, so she was two down. Well played. Yep, great shot. Both skips played well yep, for Lee today. Yeah, did. As you'd expect. As you'd expect, yes, certainly at this level. Yep, state skipper. So yep. both doing what they're paid to do. Only a couple of shots in it now. I think three or four are different the ag. Yeah, Converting yeah. and uh, adding, I think. I think the defensive play, both skippers, has oh. been outstanding. Particularly Samantha's, you know, those running shots that she's played, where they've been down, they've, uh, you know, you're never safe until that last bowl has been oh. bowled because both skippers have saved terrifically well. Okay, so fifteen ten. South Australian girls get the double figures. Nine ends to play. Well, lead ball trying to hang on desperately, hang on, and does. Shadow hanging over the ditch. See a gap. The big board over the New South Wales men, 55 26. So comfortable leaders over Western Australia. The girls' boards, yeah, it's tightened up. Hayley Packer is rink. Down now 13 16 after 15 ends. Christic Rink leads comfortably 25 to 6 over Natasha Van Eldick. Yeah, big win there for Christina. Big lead. And we can't quite see the Lisa Featherby Ellen Ryan rink, which was comfortably in the favour of Ellen. Back there it is. It looks like 21 7. 
uh, for Ellen Ryan. So So 17 to the good New South Wales on those two rinks. So very, very close. Only one or two in it in the ag for the ladies. WA New South Wales. Let's have a quick look at the other boards. Queensland men up 47-31 over the ACT after 43 ends. Uh, over the back green here, ACT, who did have a nice handy lead early on against Queensland. One young lady could just move a touch. It's 50 to 40. Yeah, ACT. The ACT girls. Uh, Hanging in there. Um, they had a, I think they had a test just against Northern Territory, the girls, and they had a pretty good win, so they... Yep, 50-40 over, uh, after 45 ends in uh, the good of the ACT. You mentioned New South Wales men are comfortably in front of, New S of uh, WA. The only other game is the Tassie NT game. Let's see if I can have a peek at that. Uh, can't quite see the scores of that, unfortunately. As soon as we can get a, a roving oh, report. Wow, out a terrific there. shot there. Yep. Wow, absolute river from Sheridan. reply to as well here look at this wow what a shot oh Emma wow a couple of cracker bars there from the seconds thank you very much that's a cracker isn't it oh two rippers beautiful weight can you say Tiffany what what can she do sorry Tell you what, not far away, Lee. Just in the area. What's happening here? Young uh, Andrew Howard, the events coordinator for Bowls Australia, yes. is mentioning the live scoring up and working well and linked to our Facebook broadcast. So you'll be able to pick up those uh, scores yourselves. But some some games just just tightening up now. I see uh, SA Victoria men. Victoria now only four in front. 43-39. Oh, and there's a big drive. Yeah, the Flapper boys, they certainly uh, get Ooh. some smoke on them, don't they? Jeez, that's, uh, that jack has gone about 40 feet yes. forward uh, and killed the end. Yes, certainly get some smoke on them. I haven't got to talk about this to the girls. Be close to holding two shots. Australian girls having a bit of a team talk here in the middle ring. Kate, very fair effort to skip for your state at 18. Okay, so let's see what she's what going to try and do here. Down the backhand. Just drift away, I think, Sachi. This yeah. one just uh, lacks a bit of. Well, it looks like, looks like they want to try and play onto the front bowl there. Okay. Right, good solid weight. Good solid weight and having a very good look. Something's going to happen. This is gone and a jack. jack. 
And she's and got a bit of a bounce. Well played. She might have made two or three. Yeah. Three. Three oh, it is. What a great shot. Skipper says three. That is a whopper. Oh, that's the ball she's got to beat, so got to go a couple of feet in to draw the shot here. So 15-10 in favour of the Vic girls, but they trail, trail by six on the big board. Got to see how the Australian girls hold three on this rink, so this is this is a very defining rink, yes, important defining end, end really. Long way to go. That looking across some of the other games, this is by far the, the slowest game. Only played 12 ends. Most of the other games are 15, 16 completed. Even the boys, who tend to be even a little slower than the girls, are sort of 16th end on a couple of the games. There's been plenty of uh, a bit of been plenty of in interaction between the girls. There's been some some team talks and yeah, plenty of mid rink chat. Yeah. Isn't there? Um, we've only had the one dead end. So first ball here. Only here on the backhand. What are you trying to do here, so she just squeeze in front of that yellow well, on Jack High Yellow. Looks like she's just trying to draw right around the pack here, and oh, I think she's probably going to lose this one. It's still travelling at speed. Yeah, that's gone. Big drive. Two rinks away from us by Lisa Phillips has has missed. So backhand it is. Backhand with weight. I'm going to come underneath the bunch here and don't know if she's going to hold on. Right. Right. Takes a back bowl out as well. Okay. So, real opportunity here. Draw a fourth. I guess she's either looking to get Squeeze in through the front under the orange, or she gets around the orange. And she's got the orange right in yeah, the middle. She has to. Yeah, she would have had enough weight to draw another one. There's a final ball here for Samantha. She's playing a little runner again. Runner again straight up the line. Yeah, I don't think she likes it. She'll need some help from something. I don't think something. she likes it, but she's need some help. not gone yet. Okay, so there's no real change. No change. That's day three for S A. Yes, it is. Three, it is. Okay, so aren't you now back to two? In South Australia now. As such, just asking how the Vic boys are going. They are three ahead, South Australia. So, South Australian girls, about eight or nine ahead now on the AG. There's a live stream rink now, gets closer. Only two shots of difference after 13 ends. Pep the girls up. Okay, 
Yeah, good start from Jody. Been leaned quite well on that white hand. Okay, so Karen here. Just might not have the run here. Okay, so plenty of room here for for Jody to add another one. Good metre of room here. It's the wind really quite swirly here at Sereno. So Sheridan trying to draw the shot here on the back end. If we come back to the clubhouse. Well, line's good enough. I don't know if she's quite got enough weight. Still coming. It was a very good effort. You need an extra roll or two. So Emma with the first bow on the back end. Trying to add another counter. Okay, so no one running away. Oh, she needs a fraction on this. Two rolls on the last bowl. Good enough for shot. Done very well. Great correction. Very happy with that. Take some beating. It was close up there to shot bowl. So Tiffany here. Just trying to build something here. See if she can get a second shot. It's all on a run. Line's good. So it might force push on to the forehand, I think it might. Drawing pretty well on this wide side too, so Got nothing in a weight. Doesn't need much more, urging it on. Every roll's on the, yep, she's not enough. It's gonna be three, the VIX. I don't know if that's gonna come back. Well, it's not going to, so real opportunity here. That's a real opportunity here for the Vicks. Draw another one here. He needs to repeat a last. Another bowler to await, ideally. Well, line was good again. Nice Lani here's going to have a little bit of work to do. It's not going to look all that pretty from when she gets to the mat. Plenty of room to get a second shot, but see the wind makes it very tricky here at Serrano. Vix 
between girls holding three here, Ken. A little bit of work here. Yeah, had a peek over the back. Looks like the Tassie boys and girls are comfortably in front of the NT. On territory. As we can see from the live scoring. And I, I was perplexed to see what rink from WA was getting. A little touch up. And it's Benny Twist, your teammate, shortly. Yes. Benny Twist over uh, Daniel Truella, 27-7. Uh, so. Right. That's the blowout rink on the boys, New South Wales, WA. Other ones are relatively close. Okay, so it's a swing and a miss there. Galani, so she's going to be in a little bit of trouble here now with the last bolt. Sam with a real opportunity. Okay, so Smith looks like she's hit the right angle on that bolt. Trying to chip that up yeah. and over. Not a roll, it wouldn't be pretty close. Some more viewers of Sachi, one from South Africa. South Africa. Chris Berkman. No idea if you have pronounced it that way, but <laughs> I have my South African accent. From okay. SA. Well, final ball here. Only what can she do? There's a fair bit going on at the front here. Can she find a way in? It was a very good effort. She might have saved one with that. Yeah, I think she has. Yep. You cut it back to two. Okay, so beforehand again, for Samantha. Good open bowl coming in. If you can just miss that, or if she turns it. You were ch chasing that blue, wasn't she? I think the light blue to yep. up and over once or twice. Enough weight. Oh, yeah, I think she's just got a beautiful oh, line. She's got enough weight. She's going to fall short. Okay, so couple. Couple back to the bigs. One, two. Two it is. The, uh, the rink over the other side there, such as from the ladies, it's uh, really tightened up. It's the Haley Packer Dawn Heyman rink. Dawn had a very healthy lead early on, but looks like uh, only 17 16 now after 17 ends. Featherby and Ryan is the one that's blown out for New South Wales, and of course, the Christic Van Eldick rink on the flip side for WA. I think WA has now hit the front in the ladies. That would be, well, throw the cat amongst oh. the pigeons in the ladies event. Well, the Queensland girls, they're crawling back against ACT. There's only six of difference in that one. They've only got 13 ends to go, so. I think New South Wales would be red-hot favourites in the uh, in the girls, so to lose first game up, that would really open the comp up. Long way to go. Probably across the board, they both played about 17 ends each in the ladies. Further behind, only 14 thus far in this game. Uh, president out of Vic Park, Pat Keefe. Tuning in. Okay, so Matt right up here for the Victorian girls. Yeah, what a start. Yep, so I think this could be. Very close to the shortest end we've had in the game here, Ken. Remember this a uh, few ends ago, they're really short end. This one's probably got a bit of breeze behind them as yeah. well. So uh, they're yes. all a bit uh, flying past. Yeah. Uh, this one, again, a little bit of breeze, but one's yeah, going to see, be uh, a yeah, little generous. Yeah, the wind's uh, following them here. Oh, well, not going to be wasted back there. Jody, great opening bar with the first. Now 
a good line. I don't think it wastes too bad again here. This is going to be another good bowl. Yep. Yeah, well played. Yep. So a very handy start from her. Yeah, and Karen had an absolute cracking game leading today. I'd be surprised if this isn't somewhere about the jack. Yeah, a pretty wide line though. Here it comes. It's handy. Yeah, good correction. Might have got second shot, that one. And a lovely wait from him out. Just crossing over. Skip was uh, pretty keen to get that jack. We can drag that jack away from that three Victorian bowls. Doesn't really want to cross the head here. Ooh, looks quick to me, Lee. Yeah. yeah oh, wide um, and handsome, that one. Yeah, that's uh, off to the never ever. Little Lucy hit the ditch at pace. Now, Queen Victorian can just drag this jack behind the pack it'll be very hard to get at Not sure she's gonna achieve that good shot though yep we'll just uh, set up against the other bowls so mm. yeah it'll be counter this is okay so critical to get this jack yeah Sheridan needs a correction here either sit this pack or get that jack away from the Victorian catches I think she's done it pretty well Lee well it's a better line just needs to drop. She sits on her own. Oh, she would have loved that oh, jack. She's just got the gab there. She's a little bit, little bit unlucky. Would have loved a bit of jack then. Well, Samantha here doing a bit of an assessment. See what things are at. Find out what the count is here. Two. Okay, so two to Victoria. Wouldn't she like the outside of the jack here? Sideways for five. Close, Lee. Yep. Close. Just needs to stop the. Just gonna sit on that bowl. Sits on one of these. It's another one on that side of the head. Yeah. Skip says really need to cover that light blue at the front. So it's only four in the ag. Now the flip side here, if she can get the jack and take it away from those catches, she's gonna get underneath. She won't. The shot still on for mm. Victoria. Not sure she really want to dob this on. Oh. <laughs> we've had the <laughs> we've had the lip gloss. Uh <laughs> City of Joondla, yep. our yep. hosts on our screen there. Now, can she get this jack sideways? I think she's got the weight to do it. Yeah, I think she's yeah, just going to run through run again. Through. Okay, so, well, well, Tiffany, she really needs to draw this. Um, yeah, it's all in the weight here. There's plenty of room, but obviously this is the side where the wind's following the bowlers. Oh, it's playing backhand, Fudgy. Yep, yeah, she's going backhand. Yeah, just oh, nice. did draw it. It's on a narrow line, but once she run of these bowls. Since she sit the pack? As she sits the pack, it's a beauty. Well, she just about oh, as she has. That's a cracker. Yeah, that was enough. Gee whiz, that takes some danger away yep. from that's what she had to do. That trail. I had my doubts about that shot in case she got the jack herself over there, but under the head, sat the pack. Well played. Gives some sort of comfort now to SA of Victoria. Oh, you lost your headset there, Ken. Lost my, lost my head here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Way too excited. <laughs> Yeah. Of the moment's getting to uh, me. Probably lucky we can't see us. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. yeah, there's a comedy act. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if Samantha can get that, sit that yellow bowl, or still flick the jack sideways for a, a number. She hasn't missed much today. No, she's had an outstanding game. And she's not a mile off drawing this yeah, either. Close again. Where's so, it? where's, where's the jack going? Oh, gee. Yeah, I don't know if she flicked it over enough. That was the shot I think that SA were really concerned about, that jack going sideways, but that yellow monster bowl, the last SA bowl really has made a difference. We've got the five bowls from the tee forward on that yes. right hand of the screen as we look at it. Now, I think Loney would love to be able to draw Again, under the yeah, jack, yeah. to the pack. Yeah, no, exactly the same. Yep, try and rest on those bowls. She can flop off that orange or blue bowl, which is just behind the jack. That would be massive. Well, she's got the backhand to it. So she's looking to just try and draw underneath them. Well, if she can get the jack, that changes the end completely. Well, I think she's a bit tight. Yeah, she's gone. His weight was good. Weight was excellent. But she hasn't made it any... Any bigger though, so... Now the flip side of this, such is, can she get the yellow out? Well, Because that would got, make five. Yeah, like. I was going to say, she's got very, very close to four seconds. Yeah, skippers. You no, know, the coach, coach at the back is... Uh, well, Sam doesn't want the... You know, she doesn't want the jack here, Samantha, so... You know, coach has uh, put her okay. bib in down yeah. the back of the green there, and coach, I think, is pretty chirpy about... Backhand sit the yellow and make. Oh, gee. Well, the, only, the only risk with the backhand, can you see all those bowls on the right there? They're all. Yep, yep. Flick the jack. They're all uh, South Australian bowls there, so. Yeah. She's playing forehand. Yeah, she's going forehand, I think. She's trying to move that jack herself. Once she did last bowl, she's oh. got some potatoes on it. So she wants to miss it now. Oh, okay, that's a good miss. Yeah, well, she so went the yellow. Yep, they had the yellow. Yellow was the ultimate target. Yes, yeah, the object bowl. Dimity Giannakis. Oh, Dimity. Your yeah, Dim. yours gives you, gave you the red heart. Dim. Miss your Sachi with a heart. Oh, lovely. Right, look at Lady. Well, try the jack here. Try the jack here. She can make a few herself. One of those ends where both sides had chances to make numbers. Well, so it's just going to get down to it. Yeah, she might get off the, off the I don't wall think she'll here. get down to the jack, but she might get off the wall. Off well. the wall. And there it is. Number one. Yeah, that's the boss. So I think it's going to be two. Two, two it is. is. Two it is to the Reds. So after 15 ends, they're back within two shots. Uh, we'll just try and see what the aggregate is. Aggregate, Ken, I'm not sure if you can see from there. Or uh, no, your club president's in the yeah, way. Yeah, she's... <laughs> well, uh, well, looks like there's eight the diff. 47 SA. 39 of Vic, I think. 39 to the Victorians. Well, ACT, they're hanging on the girls. They're 10 in front with 10 to go. ACT girls still yeah. hanging on? Well, that would be an upset. Yep, WA New would. South Wales would be an upset yes. in, the, in the ladies. They would throw those comps. Queensland and New South Wales losing. Yeah. And potentially Victoria losing. That's that's a day of upsets. Right from the get-go. Okay, so after lunch we'll have the New South Wales men taking on Northern Territory. Lee Schreiner, after his Champion of Champion win, will take on a former winner in Tristan Smallcombe. Look at the size differential. Yes. Between those two? Yes. Yes. And more good lead bowls from both sides. Oh, yeah, great start again from both of them. Jodie Karen played really well both of them today. Really, really well. 
You know, if it wasn't uh, Samantha Atkinson as best on green, I think the two leads would be uh, have a pretty good argument themselves. Both played really well. Okay, we just need our scoreboard just to flick over at 17.15. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. Thank you, Mitchie. Terrific job today on the production side of things. There's a team going. So second ball here from Jody. Just going to go around the back. Very good shot. Just have a quick peek over yeah. the other side there, Suchi, with uh, New South Wales WA game. Christic now out 27 to 7 against wow. Van Eldick. So the interesting ones is Ellen Ryan now only leads 21 13, and uh, Hayley Packer is only down by the single shot. So the moment WA are almost double figures in front against the New South Wales Ooh. girls. Okay, so we're getting out of the nitty gritty here. Yeah, a few games now that really yeah. coming down to the wire. So, down to the nitty gritty. WA 12 in front of New South Wales. It looks like they've all played 17 and 18 ends. Quick look at the other games. We've got Queensland men 55 42 over ACT. We've, as uh, such as said a moment ago, ACT ladies still up 57 46 over Queensland. And the Victoria men up 59-41 over South Australia. So they've kicked away the Vicks in the fellas and Tassie comfortably in front of NT in both of their men's and women's games. And the final two, I mentioned WA up by a dozen against the New South Wales women and the men, the flip side, New South Wales comfortably in front 63-30 against WA. The big margin there. Ben Twist uh, up by 20 over Daniel Trewella. All down the last few ends here, Suchi, though. Yep. And a good day, all day. Cracking game. In, in tough conditions, although the breeze now, as often it does in Perth around lunchtime, the easterly seems to be easing off. And if it is going to be 31, we'll have a, two or three hours of pretty warm weather before the sea breeze kicks Ooh. in mid-afternoon. So I thought the early ends of the afternoon game should be almost played in pretty well benign conditions. Before we get to that, let's get this cracking game out of the way. Well, a couple of seconds here for Trish, but I think she's just looking to try and draw. Just trying to fatten this head up a little bit. She's on a good track. Got the legs. I tell you what, she's Got trying really hard to draw this. She has. Oh, that's very Ooh. good, very good second shot. Doesn't, fall, yep. doesn't quite fall backwards. Ooh, that's uh, a little unusual. Yes. Now the Cass Millery rink's really caught up. They're only two two behind now. It was 12 nil, I think, at one point. Yeah, 12 nil now. 16-14 to Kate Argent Bowden. So Samantha here. Wanting just to look at the bowl here, see if she can get it out. Yep, having a little run. Orange onto blue with a bit of luck for her. Needs to work a bit harder. Yeah, that's not quite going to get down.
So, South Australian girls just have a bit of a talk. Had a lot of team talks, yeah, haven't they? Been some talks. Hey, a lot of chat. A lot of, uh, well, yeah, it's keeping everyone involved and yep. this team game. Worked so far. Tight game. Well, the difference really been Samantha Atkinson's outstanding play. Yeah, she has converted some ripping heads. Laney looking to play backhand. Well, Samantha's depending on when this ball finishes. Probably the best opportunity to get this ball out is through her own, her own short ball there. Can get the ball out clean if she gets the right connection on that one. She's just under it, she'll get the ball, but I think the Jack will go with it. Patrick Keefe asking what speed the green is running. Well, probably picked up a little yeah, bit with the warmer I think it'll weather. Be very close to 16, I think it'll be. Yep, yeah, it's running nicely now. Get that early morning coolness out of it and plenty of heat. Okay, so Samantha and the running shot. The I'll tell you what, I don't know if she's a mile away here. Well, she's, she's, oh, she just clipped her own front pole. Well, she's got a clear look at it now, Ken. It's one good thing, it's, uh, it's probably a bit easier for her now, if anything. What is Laney playing here, Such She's playing backhand. Is she covering? She's playing should... forehand, so... Oops, sorry, big pardon, forehand. Oh, she's covering, oh, she's going oh, at pace. Made eight. Ooh. Jeez, that could have been anything. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. She's going to go out again. <laughs> could have been disastrous, but... Calling it to go out clean here. So, get the outside of the yep. shot bowl yep, out can get clean. It. She hasn't missed many of these. Oh, what's going to happen here? Ooh. <laughs> well, let's hope it's another one. Tightening up. the South Still Australia. Further. So only won the difference. After 16 ends. Well, we haven't had a team talk, Lee, for a minute. <laughs> so, uh, yes. SA girls will have another one. Yes. Gives a chance. I think we've sort of covered most of the other games. Victorian men over SA by 16 shots with 13 ends to go. All the rest of the results are, I won't say one sided, but there's certainly margins. Probably the other closest one is the New South Wales WA ladies game, which is around about 10 shots to the good for. WA. Well, we're going longer you can. We're going back to the long. Team talk obviously decided that yeah, um, let's stretch it out a little bit. Well, she's rolled the jack beautifully. Well played beautifully. She? She's she played very well. We'll see if she can switch back onto the longer length. And she stuck with that tight side the whole game too. Um, I thought one of them by now might have made a change, but well, really both played you know, so well. Yeah, they have over the course of the game. Not a mile away here, behind the high side. Probably one of the loosest we've seen really from. Yeah, she hasn't had too many. Karen. She hasn't had too many. Let's see if Jody can shut the door. Certainly getting to it, Lee. I mm. think that's a bit of a spray as well for the two leads. A little unusual. If Karen Gatto can rectify her previous bowl a little wide, a little quick. It's a better line. 
you got the weight? Yeah, the weight's better. Have. That's a very good correction. Yeah, that's a terrific. Well, terrific the wind's gone down a bit, so that actually turned quite nicely, that bolt. Yep. Now, yeah, see if Jodie Simley can improve on her last. I think you're right, though, Suchi. That wind has dropped yeah, off dropped all down. of a sudden. It's turning now. It's so. starting to hoop a bit. That's a good shot, though. Yep. Two good recoveries. As you said, it's Perth weather. The breeze will fluctuate a bit, then it'll drop off for a yep. couple of hours. So it's, it's nowhere near as strong as it was an hour ago. Sheridan Bodnap. Kind of pretty good line here. Yep. He played this well. Shames the Jack. This is quite going to hang on. I think the weight was good, but. Mm. I think Christine, this game's over. Yeah, game's over. 29 7. That's a very impressive win there for Christina. That's comprehensive. Here's a shot. Such a bit of jack. Right, here we go. Oops, she's got the clamp on it. Oh, it'll do. It'll do yeah, for one. Enough. I think for an exciting finish on this rink. And there. in the yeah, well. And so. so six shots of difference here on the aggregate in favour of South Australia. Some plenty of ends in this, actually. We've got, well, we've got three. And four is seven, seven and yeah, so about, four. About a dozen ends to yeah, go. Yeah, dozen ends to go, so plenty of time. Well, I think we're about to see our first upset here, Ken, because I don't want to call ACT. things too early, but ACT are 16 in front with five to go. That is an upset. Yeah. It's the Queensland girls, and perhaps the second one with Christic winning. In fact, uh, such you're wrong. It wasn't 29-7. It's 32-7. Wow. That's a fair New South Wales rink. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, New South Wales rink of Natasha Van Eldick, Anne Johns, Jen Delves. And Sam Ferguson, Sam yes. Sam Ferguson. That's a, that's a big difference. Um, Okay, so last bowl here. Trish, what can she do? Oh, geez, the line was terrific. It wasn't far off there. Yep. Yeah, handy bowl, finished in a good spot. Gave it every chance. That was the right way to sit the bowl for two. So the completion of this game, probably about three quarters of an hour off for lunch, I'd say. Yeah, due to um, one o'clock, the uh, the afternoon game. So yeah, it'll be pending on how we're looking. Yeah, we're probably looking at about a midday finish for this game, I'd say. Midday, quarter past twelve, so less than time. Was 
to stay off that one. Oh, she's rolled it. Yeah, did that make any difference? She might, have given, she might have given a shot away here, Ken. She just rolled that front bowl up, so. Yeah, put the fingers out, uh, Trish Dorn. Um, really give us much of an idea as, oh, now Samantha's having a, a crack. Let's see if we can get some sort of reaction. No, none. Well, every shot counts, doesn't it, now? Every end, yeah, every shot. Does. So Samantha here on the backhand. It's a close for shot here. We're not quite sure who's got it, but I don't think it doesn't change her shot though. She'll still be wanting to roll that back one. Is she going to hang on? Uh, not quite. No, it's just. Oh, it's another handy one in the head though. Yep. Not far away. Falls over. Not far away at all. See if we can get. Close for shot. Okay. So final ball here. Only here, what can she do? I'm just trying to draw the shot here. I'll touch the jack, he'll make it two for sure. Good line here, Zachi. Yep, she's on a good line. What's it's the weight like? Really good line here. Really good line. Look at this for a Up shot. And fall. Oh, that, ah, yes, that takes the measure it. out of it anyway. She just rocked her own bowl, so it might only be one. Yeah. Seemingly it is only one, so. But yeah, yeah. absolutely great shot there. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Right, okay, so the call. A little bit of jack movement. Yep. We're in the favour of the Vicks. On to the orange. Turn the orange or inside of the purple. They're looking. Tell you what, she's close to something. Looking. Close she's very here. close to something. And she's she done it. it. Wow, what a screamer. Oh, an absolute honker there. Samantha Atkinson. Oh, oh, what? How many has she made here? Roll two out. Roll two out. Two of her own out. And I'll make yep, absolute Trish plum. measure for the three. Yep. Wow, that is a that's a huge shot. Not only for the rink, but for the aggregate. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, one down to three up, potentially. One down to... Oh, she likes it. Well, she must be confident. Mm. Likes it. Asking the South Australian three in Tiffany to confirm what I think she would probably think is three. Seed, or is this an umpire's call? Oh, that's close. Might be the umpy. Yep, here's the, the umpy. Umpire, wow. So umpire for the third shot. So it goes down there. High fives all around. We haven't really been safe, have we? SA girls, if no. uh, Samantha's had a bowl in her hand still to come. Yep, she's had a conversion shot on. Yep, she's... Uh, you know, just, and just those reaching shots, a you know, metre or two over. Uh, she played beautifully well. Um, not only that, but her drives early in the game. Yeah. Uh, again, just yep. got result after result. See the rink next door for a moment. Victoria win an end. Two rinks away from us. If they put the mat down. Not sure what the number was, but a win's a win at the moment. While we're measuring, quick look at the other games. Victorian men look home against SA, 65-45, uh, with 10 ends to go. Queensland men, similarly, 13 shots to the good of the ACT, 59-46, with uh, only a couple of ends to go. In fact, two of those e matches have actually finished. 
63.50 is one of the big upsets by the looks ACT over Queensland ladies. So 13 to the good with only only the four ends to go. So it would take a, well, a minor miracle, I suppose, for the uh, Queensland girls to get up there. Stretch the eyes to WA New South Wales. Uh, two it was, Ken, with the big girls. Two it was. Two it was. Uh, and the New South Wales WA girls. Do some maths. WA probably be about 10 in front with four ends to go, I think it might be. So, 18. Now, is that a mini break that. 19.16 now it is, so we'll just need to get a. Scoreboard flipped over. Still plenty of ends. You know, they haven't, they said they've taken their time, the girls, so... Two games closest to us. 17 ends each they've played, so... Still plenty of ends to go. And the other game, 19, so... Still 10 ends to go in this one, Suchi, so... Plenty of chance. Both sides, the umpire called for a... Ensure the length of mm. the jack. Still looking for this to be the 21 metre minimum. Yep. <laughs> What's your thoughts, Lee? Um, the cricket pitch. I, uh, I don't know. I'm going at the short. I can't see where the line is. Yeah, I reckon she might be short too, but it doesn't look that far. Oh. Well, we've gone the short call, or oh, I think we're just short. I think we're a jack roll short. Yep. It was a jack roll. Yep. And he goes. That's it. So we go for minimum length. Yep, and this back will, below this, minimum length. This won't be minimum. And this back will, we go. This will not be minimum. So it looks like we're going, uh, well, this will be close to this ditch. It's pulling off a bit short of that, but yeah, a good three, three, three quarter. Three quarter length. Yep, great start, great lead bowl. So, Kate Argent Bowden leading by a handful over Cass Millery. Yep, 52.45 on 54. Such a overall. So seven the difference, but more than that, ends left. One an end, they'd be home comfortably. Yes. Ooh. It's kind of quite so. 17-12. Uh, 17-12, yeah. So both Navy ranks, five the diff. Well, she was concerned about being too big, but uh, that's yeah, not too big. That, that is a front hopper. Thank you very much. I've said it before, Lee, but do the leads have played well? Oh, they have. They certainly have. It certainly does uh, make you hard to beat if you've got a consistent lead that can give you a good start. This is in the hunt as well. It's going to finish in a very good home for us. Very good shot. She gave that a chance, so it would be nothing worse than a short bowl then. So it's finishing a yard behind. This for a shot here. That's going to finish in a great spot. No, we'll play. Oh, it's just going to fall out, but very good shot. Okay, 
Okay, so Sheridan here can't be short. She's gonna hang on. No, she's not. See what her attentions were there, looking for the split. Yeah, Samantha, she just keep packing them in. Well, they're at that stage now, Ken, where they probably do have to try and chase a few shots, so. Right, going to finish in a very good home, though. Going to cover the back. Just missing, just missing wide. So it's cool. Here's they're going to leave the backhand alone. Just a query on the Facebook page, Ralphie. How many ends they play? Twenty-one each. So three rinks of twenty-one, sixty-three ends in total. Played a bomb on the in rink. Well, it's a forcing shot, but it's going to be well under. Got out. Just the last few ends, really, Tiffany. Just. Falling away, the yellow bowls. Not a lot, but gee, it's such a high standard game. Um, and it's such, it's getting tight now with, as you just mentioned a moment ago, although Super Bowl next door from SA drawing shot. Uh, she got enough weight on this. I don't know, it's still going, but I don't know if it'll quite make it. Nope. Well, it does have value. Kylie. Well, Whitehead plays a running shot next door and misses all. It's obviously SA holding there. Well, the good thing for the South Australian girls here, although they're behind in this game, they're, they're in front overall. So they don't have to get these shot. To keep it tight now, yeah, really. That's that's all they've got to do. They've just got to. So they've got to be careful here. Yeah. Yeah. Tiffany having a couple of runs and miss. Yeah. 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 So that's an important important bowl here. So, so we'll see what she's doing here. Looks like she might be coming back to the back to the draw shot here, Kent. Yeah, she just lost this shot in the last uh, last few ends, but she's going to run this one right I'll out. I'll tell you what, a not bad. If she does run it out. Here it comes. Uh, she might have, uh, holds on, it might have saved one, I don't know. door Lisa Phillips played an absolute whopper to draw to a number and she's fallen over and squeezed the jack. Very unlucky. I'm trying to watch the three rinks all at once here because they're all important. It's two for two more for Victoria on the Phillips rink.
Cass Millerick playing a runner. Oh, and gets. Looks like another dead one. A cheeky. Yeah, there were a few dead ones the girls over there. A cheeky rub, which gets the jack out of bounds on that rink. So there's a few down as well. So Victoria just getting a little bit of the rub of the green. Well, they just picked up a three there on the far rink, so they're back to within two. Yep, looks like you can see that far. 52 45, perhaps on the big the board. Diff. Well, Good shot here from Laney. She Whoa. gets on to oh, crack it effort. Well, the, um, the AC2 two girls are home. 15 in front playing the last end. Uh, looks like one, one rink in particular. One, winning by 14. I think uh, from where we sit, such either, I think the WA girls will be home as well against New South Wales. At least two here, Victoria. Well, that front bowl that I don't really want to move that bowl out of the way, so it's a bit hard for the South Australian girls to get in there on the forehand side. So she's really only got a backhand draw. So Sam, Samantha here, she's last bowl, don't quite think she's got the weight. So final bowl. South Australia coming up here on the 18th end. Don't really think she's got too much more on here than just trying to draw on the back end. I don't know. There's a bit of breeze up, so I don't think that's going to come back. It's not. Couple more to the VIX. So, back to a five shot lead here for Victoria. It's ranking the edging closer on the aggregate. There's only about five to diff. So, late charge here for Victoria. South Australia have been in control the whole match. So three minutes to go. Cracking jacks, right? Yeah, it's easy to be ripper. Short right. along there. Because right, the mat's just about. Haven't got too much to play with, so. So, the final couple of ends here. For our first test. South Australia and Victoria. Coming right down to the wire. Probably equal standing. I'm not sure if there's an. You wouldn't call this an upset, I don't think. No, no, you? no. You, it would have been a 50 50 game to yeah. start with.
so correction needed here from both girls. See the uh, Packer, that's in Haley Packer that is, Dawn Heyman game is over. A little bit of rally lately from the Dudway girls, going down 22-21. They'll, they'll, they'll win overall, won't they? Uh, they've seen a win. Pretty comfortably, yeah. 20, but given that, 22-21. And at the moment, Ellen Ryan still in front of Lisa Featherby, 25-14. Uh, but, uh, of course, the 32-7 victory of, uh, of Christick will uh, get WA over the line. I think 13 in front, Ooh. I'm told, with uh, with one into play. So, WA, there's our first yes, upset. Uh, I yeah, guess the second couple. upset, Suchi. Yeah. 66-51, ACT yep. over Queensland. Yep, that's all over. That's all over, with one end to play. So the girls' comp is yeah, so wide of, open. Yep. Maybe, maybe Suchi, in the comp. Maybe a third upset, Suchi. Northern Territory ladies are two up against Tassie. Okay. With five ends to play. Oh, wow. It's all happening in the girls. Here we go. Well, Torian's off to a good start on this end. That would have been a nice multi, I tell you what, if you got those oh. girls' results. <laughs> think of. I don't have to say that number on the website, do I, after no. I said that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a couple of shots here. Then we're looking to repeat the dose. After I think she's got a little bit extra on this one. Oh, yeah, just want to make sure she stays on. A little bit sharp around the tee. That might. Yeah, we'll if she stayed on, we'll hang on. On the drive next door from Kate Argent Bowden. What does that do? Didn't really move the shot bowl, so SA would be down on that head. Well, Lisa Phillips here playing her last end, so if she can win this, she can win her last end. This one I don't think will stay up such. Or it has, it has indeed. It's, um, yes, they don't really have a close bowl, though, the South Australian girls. So, Victoria coming with a bit of a late charge here. A wet sail. This one across here. Ish. Bowls next door going everywhere. Kate yeah. Argent Bowen driving again and missing. This might get really tight with an end or two to go. Well, wind's died down a bit. Yes. Miss Millerick drawing to add. She. Just slides past the jack. That's a super shot. Uh, very good shot on our ring here. Tiffany, yeah, that's what she needed. Let's have a look. They've rolled two out for Victoria on the rink next door. So right back in this now, the Vix. And we'll measure for three. It's on the Millery Argent Bowden rink which that will really tighten up that yeah. with one end to go. Well, she could wait to tip that ball out. Three it is for the Victorians. Yeah, three for the Vicks. That pulls that back to 19-17 to SA with one end to go. That's 1970 with one end to go, SA in front. So, yeah, and the other. 1715 on the last end, SA in front. So, the VIX, uh, that means the VIX hit the front. One shot. Yep, 
53, 52 it is. So we've got new leaders for the first time. Victorian girls have hit the front. Skips of about to bowl. On the rink furthest away from us as Samantha's bowl scoots past the head. Yeah, you see what they're trying to do? They're trying to set that bowl out. SA playing a running shot. Like Katrina Green having a little runner at the head and missed. So I'm guessing that suggests that Victoria hold. She was just trying to fall in off that bowl. Yeah. Well, she's trying to set the bowl out. She's missed the pack. So, um, it just shows that the, the big girls are holding the shot. Casting an eye across, Lisa Phillips misses with her draw shot to add. Back to Samantha. It's a good line. I'm not sure she's going to arrive, Suchi. Oh, she was on a good line, too. Yep. Now. What's Laney looking to do? Uh, looks like she's going to just try and get underneath that last bowl of Samantha's and try and sit this shot bowl out. I'll watch the furthest rink, the Ardent Bow rink. No, in fact, it's not. It's the Katrina Green rink. She's looking to play a draw shot. Oh, miss wide here. So. And so has Green. So both SA skippers missing. Now, how are they going to roll out? They've rolled out two. Two. So that game will end in a tie, 17 apiece. Yeah, so an extra three shots here for the big girls. Between Green and Phillips, that's all tied up at 17. Well, I guess they've led for about 58 of the yeah. 59 of the ends we've seen. Two critical ends here. SA really need to win both these ends, Suchi. Yes. You'd think if they split it, then the Vicks will be home. Yeah, well, um, South Australian girls, they haven't, haven't scored for a few ends. Final end underway on the rink next door. SA leading 19-17. Well, they have got up and back to go. Same as this. So still best part of four ends. Three and a half ends to go. Second last end here for these girls. Not a mile away. A little bit high. Right, never hide. Good. In the game though. So just four ends to go here in our first test for both the two rinks that are still left out there. Couple of shot lead to the big girls now after being behind for just about the whole game. Well, three upsets, Suchi. Little note from uh, Aaron Delaporte out the Northern Territory game. Northern Territory ladies beating Tassie by four. That's a big win for the NT girls. Yes. It's been a while since that's happened. Uh, and the Tassie men will win comfortably by about 30 over the NT. So that's a huge win for the NT girls. Yes. Uh, noting that. Unfortunately, they've lost Colleen Orr in the Northern Territory side. They've had to fly home uh, a day or so ago with the passing of, I believe, her sister. Oh, okay. So 
Our thoughts go to yes. Colleen, wonderful player for the Northern Territory. Yes. So, that's a, uh, that's a courageous win by the NT girls. Oh, great effort. Emma, Emma dobbed her first bowl on. So, interesting morning right across the board for the, for the girls. A few results you wouldn't normally pick. Well, I'm guessing three upsets out of the four. Yes. I'm guessing this is probably a 50-50 game, but three upsets out of the four for the girls makes this afternoon's games absolutely mm. critical for the girls. Okay, so Sheridan with her last bowl. Wouldn't have happened very often, uh, Suchi, but this afternoon's game, New South Wales, Northern Territory, and the ladies, you wouldn't have thought Northern Territory would be sitting on top of the <laughs> New South Wales ladies, but that's no. the situation that they find themselves in. No, they'll be looking to bounce back. Okay, so, fish me down at the head, so I don't know what's going on. Looks like it's going to be forehand, drawing the shot. Oh, Samantha's uh, keen on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be another shot. Yeah, it's putting some pressure on now. Need yeah. something. They're flying home the Vix. Need something here from Tiffany. Play her backhand. A little bit of a swing here. Swinging hand. And she pull out for the SA girls. Oh, I think she's a bit shy. There she is. Not a good bowl. Really, that's not in the game, unfortunately. No. Samantha just checking things. Yep, so finish the bowl last counts. So repeat the dose. That's the instruction. to get back but oh, it's very good won't get back oh, right they need some some sort of connection here I think such or, or something for Laney to play to can't be under the head no with a little bump on the shot bowl or something at least adjacent to it so she can use the skip she's played it pretty well what, she has played this pretty well Get it fat. Oh, look at this. She's nearly going to get a shot out of it. Oh, it oh. Fall? No, it doesn't fall over. Oh, that's a Still lot better. Much better. Yeah. She's really improved things. Yep. And you feel the lady probably must get it too to keep them alive. Got in the kit bag here. Looks a touch on the high side. Once you get a little something. Ooh, oh, nearly. Not quite. Well, now, Laney. For South Australia to win this, they, they, got to win this they've end. got to win this end. Yep. You know, I guess the perfect shot would be to get the blue right through. And I'm not sure what is third shot at the moment. Probably the Victorian bowl down the line rather than the SA bowl out the side. Perfect result to drag the jack six inches for three, but yeah, gee, that's tough. So, the newly crowned champion, champion singles winner. What can she do here? 
Needs a big one. Looks a bit high again, such. Perfect yep. weight for the, the right job. idea, yep. Weight was great. Hmm. Find a ball here for Samantha. Six in front on the rink. I don't know that she's here, Suchi. No. Well, she didn't really. She couldn't really do a lot there. It was. She might have actually been trying to try and block this up. Yeah. This is probably to keep the game alive. SA holding shot next door as well. Ooh, it looks uh, mighty thin to me. Uh, she's not like her. She's given up on it. Mm. Well, might be enough. Victoria here. Might be enough. Come from the clouds, the Vicks. Yeah, they certainly have. Mm. So, four in front. Four in front. Both playing the last end. And I'm just watching the other rink now. SA looks like she has or oh, just collided up front. I think Vix holds shot halfway through the final end next door. Any score for Victoria there and make it hard for SA. Okay, so looking at time, Ken, it's just after 12 Western time, so probably a quarter past finish, so probably on target for a one o'clock start. Ooh, as a Victorian player slices the jack away from their own bowl to, well, no man's land really, but a jack almost hanging over the ditch. Probably doesn't really matter who's got it shot. A lot of looking, a lot of... Not quite sure what Kate is waiting for. Okay, so the last end. So the greens are really picking up in speed too, Ken. Yeah, if, yeah. They do, if they do roll these at lunchtime, they're, yep. they're probably going to be close to 18, I think, for the afternoon game. Yep, the heat's getting them as SAR running and got the jack. <laughs> SA runs, gets the jack, bear jack. Probably a metre and a half away, though, from the shot bowl in the ditch. So plenty of room to draw, although, as you said, it is getting slick around the tee area, so... Well, final bowl for Karen. Both leads can be very happy with the way they've led. Absolutely. Vic's in front by 14 in the big board for the boys, last end. Yep, so they're home. That's a good shot. Oh, great shot. Well played. Yep, she played very well. That's Both girls have. Yep, that's a good finisher. Yep, that's very well proud of the way they went. Well deserved that finish. Played very well. First bowl of the Victorians in the rink next door. Trying to bowl to the ditch has gone in the ditch. Mighty shot oh, here. Look at this. Whoa. That is plum. Oh, that could be an aggregate winner. Get that out and play fair. Oh, SA oh, draws. need a score here. So. Well, SA's drawn to the ditch next door, such, so. Well, the South, South Australian girls here, they've got to try and change this, the setup of this head already. They were, she's got to draw up to this and try and move this jack or get a roll out of the bowl. It's not far away, Lee. Not far away, so Lee. She's trying very hard. Oh, well, she's done it. well played. Very good shot. Jack out in the open. That's what she had to do. Kylie White on the rink next door has drawn up short. Might be second shot. Not sure. Certainly drew up short. SA hold the advantage there. Well, that's a great finish. Two great balls from Emma. Finish off with. Yeah, 
as a Sheridan. Played a riffle with the last one. Or just skirts the pack. And in the ditch with Kate's first bowl. So they're holding, might be holding two SA, but that's that hurt Kate Argent Bowden putting her bowl in yeah. the ditch. Did not need that. Cass Millerick with her attempt, she pulls she pulls um, up short. Urgent at the, the run. Okay. So Fish here just taking a time. It's picking up again. Ah. Now, Argent Bowden, for whatever reason, has decided to go down and have a bit of a look, perhaps looking for a number. For the diff, so probably both need to win their end, don't oh, they? Well, the South Australian girls on this ring don't really look like getting the score at the moment. On the far ring, it's hard to tell with one in the ditch how far that is away, but they've certainly got the shot with the brownie looking bowl from here. Whether they have two or not, it's a different question. Now, just wondering whether she'll. She's only got one shot it's to, to draw another. Well, she's going to get the right half, I think. She's fallen in, so it's another bowl. I'll keep my eye on the Kate, bowl roundabouts. Kate's bowl next door. Ooh, looks like she's flying to me. Unless she runs into their own shot, and she doesn't. Oh, that's a bad miss. Puts her own bowl in the ditch again. Millerick has one more up her sleeve. Having a good look. Favourite might only be one. I think Trish is going to run through here. Got a feeling SA only holding one next door. Millerick, Victorian skipper, has her last bowl and the last bowl of the match. Jack's already in the ditch, so can't be killed. Uh, she'll be looking, I'm no doubt, either if it's one to roll the shot bowl into the ditch or. If it's more than that, second shot will be certainly good enough. What do we got here, Suchi? Just needs to hang on. Doesn't. It hasn't. Uh, Miller is, is playing a runner. Trying to get the shot bowl out. And doesn't. So it's one to South Australia, is it? Well, she, she peeled their own bowl out. So, okay. uh, But they did have, they might have had second and third shot. So let's have a bit of a look. Here's one for SA. I think you've got to measure the one that's in the ditch. Which is always a bit tough to work out distances. You um, keep your eye on Samantha. Yeah, Samantha will just be, be trying to put this to bed, I think. I'll She's keep got my eye on the other one. Got about a foot and a half to draw the shot here. So, forehand draw. An absolute cracker of a game. A Tremendous game. The first skipper's experience. Just drifting away. And they've measured one bowl. Let's have a look and see the next. That's not in for SA. How many was it? Can you say how many it was? Or? She just didn't <laughs> just wave the fingers <laughs> in the air. And I have no, I, I, look, I've got a feeling it was two. Got a feeling it was two. Touchy. We'll see what the ball would just turn the board over. It's SA 22 17 over okay, Victoria. So two in front. Can she draw it with this one to put some pressure on? Ooh, needs to hurry. Oh dear. It's still going. Needs to. Gee, you don't want to be up uh, there, though, do you? Didn't I think that nothing that changes anything. Okay, so Samantha, this will be her last bowl. Gee, that hurt. That really did. Given the two, the width of the Victorian bowls, you can't really get them both with a running shot. I don't know what's down the back looks like a Victorian bowl. I think it's gonna be backhand draw. I think from Samantha. Yeah. 
Can she's changing over. Can she ice the game? What she doesn't want to do is run to that front one. Of Laney's. Well, I think she's got a safe line. She's she has got the foot down though, Suchi. This could get uh, I think it's going through the hole. Yeah, well the line was great. Just had a bit of running on it. She knew when she let that go. Now, how do you make two out of this for a draw? Um I guess she's got to move the jack somewhere. Don't think she can get the two hmm. Victorian bowls. Well, I think that's second. I reckon that'll be second yellow shot. second? Yeah, the yellow second. Hit. Can she sit that light blue bowl and make two for a draw? Yeah. Probably if, if that's second. Well, this is it. Final bowl, South Australia. Here we go. Lani, what can she do? Oh, it doesn't look great to me. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. She needs a jack. Oh, she's just under. So the Victorians have uh, done very well there. They're behind for 55 ends. Yep. Yep. And have beaten the South Australian team. So a very exciting game first up. So uh, we're giving him one there, Suchi, to make it a margin of three. Yeah, three shots for the South Australian team. So. Ken, thank you very much for your time. We'll see you on a little bit later in the broadcast. Um, Lee, absolute pleasure. Enjoyed that. Uh, I will vacate the seat now for the boss, uh, Bowls Away <laughs> President Doug Kelly. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully can maintain the, the ratings that we've just... Uh, yes, oh, it would have been millions. ...posted this morning. OK, so our next match, uh, we're scheduled to go from 1 o'clock in Western Australian time, so it's about 45 minutes. So our next game will be Northern Territory against New South Wales. Until then, this is Lady Lord Such. We'll see you shortly.